Welcome to a brand new Let's Play, Let's Play 17, The Sims 2 for Nintendo DS. This game is uh, amazing. Um, let's just turn down my audio to half. Okay. Uh, but let's jump in and create a new sim. I still find it very loud. It's loud for me, but whatever, it's okay. We just turn it down like that, that should be okay. So, let's call our sim, PCJ, it's gonna be me. Uh, this game has a great story to it, where is the J? Oh, why couldn't it be a QWERTY keyboard, why'd it have to be awkward? Oh, there it is. And, uh, oh wait, I am a male, I think. I get a bit of a tan, brown hair, we'll go with that hair, that face. I just know where everything is, the black top is hair. Oh, it's the last one, isn't it, yeah. Blue pants. Okay, we're not gonna wear any of that stuff. Formal. I like blue suits. I wear blue suits. And um, pajamas. I don't really wear pajamas, so it's got a bit of red in it. We we'll keep this one. And blue sim wear. Ah. Uh, oh no, I don't want to wear my suit. That's too formal, isn't it? I want to wear my that. Yeah. And now your aspirations, the same like The Sims 2 for the PC. Fortune, you earn additional money from hotel guests. Which is a good thing to have, I suppose. Uh, you improve your relationship with other Sims faster. Other Sims have been in the mood for one month more often. I'm not really... Indeed. Okay. And the last one's something to do with sanity, isn't it? You recover twice as much sanity from using objects. Oh, sanity is a good one. Fortune, I'd probably put last. I'm not too pushed about the money and the popularity. Um, no, we'll go with we'll go with the money. <laughs> it's just easier. Did that lag? I think that lagged for a minute. Now, okay, the resolution isn't the best. It's the best down here in this bottom screen down here, but for the main screen here, it's a DS game on my computer, so what do you expect? It's really hard to get this set up going as well with the split in the middle screen down here and my webcam and then having the Sims up there because I didn't want to just do it like what the intro looked like because it just would have been really weird. Um, but, Jebediah S. Jerky. Whoa there, Slick. You're running the wrong way, ain't you? Strange Town is dying fast and frogs in a freeway. What's your business here? Car troubles, eh? Well, now I'm known around here as something of a handyman. But don't believe anything else you hear. I'd be willing to have a look under the hood if you don't mind. Well. Shoot, kid. That engine's got more holes than a donut shop. It's gonna take a while. A few days, maybe. You could head over to the Strange Town Hotel and secure yourself a bed. It's not fancy, but I've heard they've got pillows. Tell him Jebediah Jerky sent you. I don't know that it'll help any, but I like getting my name out there. New mission goals unlocked. See the gold tab for details. Uh, time to explore. Use the control pad to move around and the B button to run or walk. Check out the hotel. Uh, what's up? Is he just... Hold on now. I'm thinking there's more than one way to skin a cat and there are at least three ways to fix an engine. 
Now that's, uh, that's helpful. Let me get my uh, controller out now. Okay, we're back in business, I think. Sorry about that. Um, it's still a bit weird, but... It's hard to get this right. Z what? Oh, ah, welcome to the Strange Town Hotel. Can I help you with, uh... Oh, this is pointless. It's not like anyone is paying me anymore. That's right, my boss just walked out yesterday. He said he was fed up with the place and... Hold on, is the power out? Wow, I guess I've been sleeping for a while. I've got to watch this desk. Maybe you could stoke the furnace for me. It's in the basement through the door to the, on the left. Head down the stairs and walk straight ahead. Pick up any of the few rods fine lying around and toss them into the furnace. So that's what we got to do. We've got to pick up these few rods here. And you can see a big trail that kind of just heads down that way. And this is pretty much it. You just... This is the first official mission of the game, I guess. This is the heart of Strangeland Hotel. The new reactor needs nuclear rods in order to supply the hotel. And basically, this Sims 2 game is about running a hotel. The Sims, any Sims handheld games had just great stories to them. It's amazing. Um, this one was really good. Uh, while we're here, we can sell fuel rods to make some money too if we need it. But um, let's just stick out with this. Keep that there. And... We have light. Let it be light. Hey, hey. Yes, the power's back on. Thanks. Each of those few lords lasts about three days. Though the furnace can hold more than one at a time. Here's the thing. This game actually goes by real time. It says 3.29pm down there because I am actually recording this at 3.29pm. And this... You'll, further when we get on the game, you can see where this... Uh, it's not a few issues, but we'll work it out. Oh, I wanted to ask you. Did you drop this note when you came in? I found it behind my computer monitor after you left. Here. There's a reason for everything, PCJ. The sun shines, the earth spins, and smart people like you run hotels. Good luck. The citizens of Strangetown need your help. Again. <laughs> oh, there's Jerky. Phew, this place isn't exactly a palace, is it? We never saw more than one guest a month, Jeb. There was never any reason to clean up. That's backwards thinking. If you want to bring in the customers, you gotta clean the place up. Pick up the trash. Vacuum the place. It's easy. You may be right now, but... Yawn. But I'm... That's not the best yawn I could have done. But I'm not supposed to leave this desk, so this kid will have to do it. Kid, that's a fair trade. If I'm gonna fix your car, you're gonna have to vacuum this hotel. And there's just this vacuum out of nowhere here. Now, one thing about this, playing this on my PC, is when I use the vacuum, this is my pockets. In a razor. Okay, this is kind of tough to use, but... Oh, we have a, a toy here. Some things you vacuum are worth money. If you can get a shrunken head, there's a coin. Now, as you can see, I hit the dust, it gets dusty, I can't blow into anything. Oh, okay. You there! I want answers, you hear me? What's this about the owner of the hotel wanting to skip town? He's already gone, Mayor Jackson. He slipped out last night. Egad! Without a functioning hotel, our tourist trade will plummet. We'll be done for. Well, sir, we've been doing the best we can, but... The economy will crash, people will starve, wars will rage, and I'll be forced to cut my recycling programs. We must do something. Anything, everything, now, please help! Ah! Oh, what a world! E hey. Mama Hog. You might know her son from a few games. There's a few characters from other handheld games in this. Mayor Jackson, excuse me, I'll be looking for you everywhere. It seems you have a meeting at. He's gone bonkers again, Mrs. Hog. Oh, heavens, is this kid some kind of... Agitator or something? What? A gator? Or something? Agitator. When he gets emotional, there's no solution but to present him with soothing words. Otherwise, he'll stay loopy. Still a bit of weird lag, but I can... It's it's not too bad compared to what it was. So we gotta restrain him. We'll go over to him. Hit on restrain. There's four, like, settings in this game. Like, there's loopy, there's friendly, there's romantic, and angry. Loopy is kind of the worst. It trains you how to do it here. You have to look at him. So he's putting his hand out. So it's his turn. Yell. Turns to the right. 
And then Stoppy just goes a little bit mental, isn't it? No. You gotta remember this. And one more should do it. This is how you kind of build up a relationship with people in the game, though. These kind of... And steady. Perfect. What? What happened? I feel funny. Did I go on one of my rampages again? What do you call you, kid? Nice to meet you, PCJ. Listen, we're in trouble here. This hotel is one of the only sources of money in Strange Town. If it goes under, the town goes with it. Help us turn this dingy dormitory into a world-class palace of leisure. Just say yes. That would be grand. We could get a pool, a couple of lounges, a restaurant, maybe a gallery, and perhaps, perhaps we should start by building a casino. Good thing it misses. Why is this casino... Uh, are rooms not the number one thing to go for there? That's a perfect way to attract guests. PCJ, talk to Tristan Legend about building a casino. He's our local handyman. Tristan, oh, actually, maybe I should talk to him for you. I know he likes to hang out in the desert, so stay out of this one, Miss Hogg. PCJ, follow me. Before you go looking for Tristan, I want you to show you where you'll be staying. Okay, so it's our room. Luki Tuku Lama Lama to you too. <laughs> now she's angry. So here's the manager suite, your home base. You got the base to start with a bed, a shower, etc. But you can decorate it however you like. You can tell by the sound, it's just lagging a little bit. On the wall over here is your stat panel. It'll give you a, all sorts of useful information about the hotel and your own skills. So you know the place before you get to work. Relax and well, take a shower before you find Trish and you're smelling a little ripe. I suddenly need to take a shower. Now, you have no needs in this game, but when you need to eat or shower or something, the thing will come over your head. And I know by playing this game, I'm going to take a shower and it's going to get dirty instantly when I take this shower. Uh, some things take a few minutes, but I can speed it up with a toggle, so it's kind of handier. I can jump out of the shower if I want to, but all your needs build up towards your sanity. Watch, it'll get dirty. Huh. Didn't get dirty. Let's check this stat panel over here. Examine this. And hotel info. Score zero, guest stayed zero, money earned five, net profit five, money spent zero. Uh, I love the way they use that. Okay, you're just... Calm down, angry sims to increase your sanity meters level. This is something I'm going to do off screen. Uh, skills. Skills are very different in this game. Creativity, business, body, charisma, and mechanical. As I said, this game runs off real time. Every now and then you'll see these symbols. So if you'll see the artistic, I forgot what you call that thing where you hold the brush and the paint. You'll see that hanging around, or a business one, or a body one, or a charisma, or a mechanical, and you just pick them up, and that's how you get skill points. There's ten altogether that all spawn at different hours, in different days, in different parts of the map, the entire map. So again, this is probably something I can do off screen um, and kind of work it out and just build it up off screen because they will come in like there'll be times in the game where you need to get body five, mechanical seven, typical handheld skills but it's a sims thing too like in the sims 1 and 2 you need to build up your skills in order to get a promotion in your job so you're sticking to that and game stats is aliens vanquish zero goons captured zero vacuum earnings five metal detector earnings zero when we get the metal detector that's gonna be fun but now we have to go out into the desert and find tristan who's just casually just hanging out there now i'm kind of the owner of the hotel now i'm gonna stock this um Stocking it is free? I didn't know that. Let's pick up these gourds. Um, because they're going to be worth money in the future. Uh, I'm sorry about the little bit of a lag. When I've actually... It's actually really strange. When I've tested it and did a test record and everything like that. It was all perfect. But when I actually go to do my actual recording. This is this this is what happens. So that's kind of annoying. Um, let's go over to these cows here real quick. These cows are... Uh, they're a bit fun. Any nuclear rods are talking to each other, you see that? Any nuclear rods? And gourds, you want to pick them up. They come handy in the future uh, game. Um, but well, this is a bull. I can't do anything with the bull. The cow I can, I can tip it. <laughs> the animation's so funny. And the cow just, just casually just roll back up. 
Let's pick that up. And again, picking up all this stuff, I'll do it off screen. Like, I'm just, I'm, I've missed playing it. I haven't played it in years. But it runs on real time. When you get guests to stay, they'll be like, I'm going to check out on Friday at whatever time. And they do. Now, the desert's a very bad place to be, alright? Oh, you ever caught a meteor with your bare hands? It takes time to get used to, to the heat and the pain, but it's a good cure for loneliness. Why am I lonely? Well, I'll say this. It ain't an easy thing to see the women you love carried off by a pack of giant scorpions. Hey, I don't recognize you. What's your name? Fascinating. So what can I do for you, PCJ? A pair of strong hands for a building, huh? How kind of you. And I'd be happy to help you if I was happy at all, but I'm not. I think I'm going to stand here and mope a bit. I'm trying to do my best to do a little crying too, so step back. Sniffle. <laughs> uh, now that we're in the, 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 you know, desert, why is there a black bar all of a sudden in the middle of the... I don't know. But, uh, look at my sanity going down. And we're on the lowest level. Oh, we don't need to read that. We need to tear him up. I didn't teach you how to share up sims here. Bit of a pet talk. He's taking his time. He must be very upset. I'm gonna say a console bin. Oh, oh, it's a hug. Oh, just halfway down. Make him a little bit happier again. And a pet talk. And one more should do it. You're right there, kid. Tomorrow is another day. I can't believe I never thought of that. So Honest Jackson wants me to build a casino, huh? Well, okay, I can do it for you, but we'll need a building permit now. Honest knows that. You can buy a building permits in City Hall. Anytime you want to add a room to your hotel, you have to buy a permit. Then they send me to build it. So the new goal is to go to City Hall and uh, buy the permit. Uh, let's do a little tour, a little tour of uh, Strange Town here. This is the sheriff's office. You can actually get locked up yourself and go into jail, but if you capture goons, and we'll see them in the later le uh, Let's Play, daily you'll see them in prison. But you might recognize the sheriff a little bit. He's got a change of a job since his last game, but he does look very familiar, doesn't he? Detective Dan? I think it's Detective Dan. He's now Sheriff Dan, but it doesn't actually say it's Dan, but it's really resembles him. See, he's all in here. Let's go into city. We'll go into it now. We have to anyways. Oh, there we go. There's a skill point in the background. That's a strange town city hall. This building is home to both my Honest Jackson and the deputy of Department of Construction. Deputy? Oh, I said deputy. Build rooms. Snake Eyes Casino, 1,500. Yes. Normally it takes eight hours for your hotel to build, but that's okay. There's a toilet, bathroom area in here. Uh, this is the mayor's office in here. And we have a charisma point, so let's pick it up. So we have one charisma point. Let's go into our friend panel here. I want to show you something as well. Um, oh, I'm all acquaintances with these, okay? So let's go to Jebediah there. And let's just say, the more we build up a relationship with... Um, we unlock a secret, and the secret panel, oh yeah, I'm using my mouse, but you can't see it. Just see under the phone here, and under relationship, this little block here, over mood. A little, like, secret thing will come up, and they all have secrets. It kind of works like The Sims 2 PSP with secrets, except there's less of them. Welcome to Mama's Play Saloon. Try some of Mama's home cooking, drink some sarsaparilla, or dance the night away. Um, there's someone here I want to see. Oh, you've seen a picture on the wall. Does that picture look familiar? I know it looks familiar. And as soon as you just go on this dance floor, you just automatically just start dancing. I think it builds up your sanity, does it not? And uh, this is where to stay, this is Mama's room. Dusty Hog has a room in here. Dusty is in the game, it's so good. Jebediah stays in this room. Um. Oh, this is just a toilet, so maybe Dusty doesn't stay here. Huh. Um. There's a speaker, which we'll get into in the future. And you can play that little arcade machine and stuff. 
And then we have the shop over here where you can buy stuff for our hotel rooms, you can buy stuff for our room. Welcome to the Strange Town store. A new, never before seen object arrives each month for purchase, so don't forget to check back. And if we'd like to collect every item, we will, but this is like three grand at oh, 1,500. Uh, so this is the one for August. So yeah. Uh, let's buy a five dollar, or five simoleon ticket. Scratch up to five boxes, real tree match, and pictures to win cash. Let's go with this one first. It's a bell. Let's go with this one. It's not a bell, it's a piece of beef. Uh, this one here, it's another bell. It's a beef. No, I want to go with this one. A beef! We got some money. So, we got 45 out of it. It's not too bad. The store here works, again, in real time. So, every two days, I think, items change. Um, that's a nice TV. That's a nice bed. And this got basic furniture. But they bring in different things. Like, um, different fridges, different couches, the chairs, tables. Different things like that. So... That's pretty much it. There's Trish and there. I'm just kind of just casually run over. Hey PCJ, just in time. I hammered my last nails minutes ago. Come on in and check out the new casino. And they do a bit of a tour here. This is the... What would you call it? Auditorium? And you see symbols of things up around. But through time we get a bit of a gallery. Two bars. A restaurant. A gym. I think there's a restaurant. No, there's no restaurant. Oh, there is a sushi restaurant. Beautiful, right? I don't know why I uh, make a living as a carpenter. I guess testing pilot and experiment jets is more my thing. So have a look around, get to know the place, and let me know what you think. Hooray. You interested in playing a game of Keel Hall and Cards? Is a great way to make a little money. Oh! Hooray. Whoa, what was that? Probably an earthquake. Yeah. Emperor Easel. At long last, the land on Earth we have come now. Wait, did I read that right? At long last, to land on Earth we have come now. I don't know. All humans will go pharaohs. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I'm, I'm doing it again. I'm going dyslexic. All humans will you will you fare to us and make us bow and jet just to our feet. This can you not stop. We will always be taken over. Oh, his English is actually broken. I bow this. Yay. This happens every couple of weeks. His name is Emperor Easel. He's been trying to take over Strange Town for years, but we can't figure out why. There's nothing here but sand and heat. Lucky for us, those aliens have a weakness. Water. I suppose that's why we always come to the desert. If you can find a super drencher water cannon, that's true. You can send him running back to his ship. I think Giuseppe has one. Anyway, I'm out of here. There's this mesa I've been itching to climb. Nice working with you. New mission goal on Ox. See the ghost tab. Get a super transfer from Giuseppe Mazzolato. We know Giuseppe, we've met him before too, so it's good. We're meeting old friends, it's good. He should be just chilling out here, and he is. What's up? Hey. Oh, he's got the same sound effects, that's class. Hey, what? Uh, I don't know nothing about not missing gold bricks. Oh, I see Emperor's Easel is back, and you need a super transfer water cannon to drive him off. Sure, I got one. I've had it since I was a little brat, and it's all yours, for a price. Hey, come on, it's a relic from my childhood. I can't just give it away, so for 250 simoleons and it's yours. Cheap, right? Hey, da da Hey, da da Um, yeah, give him the... You got the cash, 50, 100, 200, 250. Great. The deluxe Super Drenched Water Cannon XP is all yours. It's got a refill button and a pressure control switch for maximum drenching capacity. Have fun. And drench emperor's name with super drench. Activate super drench from the pockets menu. We just go here. We pull it out. We shake this up to fill up this bar to the right. We aim at easel and just press. There we go. Ah! It's the dehydration oxide burning again. Help! Help! I am melted. Beam me away quickly. I shall be returned. I vowed this. He didn't sound happy. Whew, I managed to climb two maces and three boots without taking a sip of water for... Hey, Emperor's Easel is gone. Did you do that? Way to go, buddy. You've got the makings of a fine hotel manager. Hey. What's this about aliens? Are they back? What happened? It's cool, Mayor Jackson. PC Jet took care of everything. Good heavens, this town is too much. <laughs> this is coming from the mayor. Thanks, PC Jet. Thanks for everything. I hope you'll stay with us a while. We could sure use someone like you. 
In fact, here's 1,000 simoleons for your, all your effort today. It's not much, but we'll get you started. Hi Tristan, wow. You two sure make a great team. Thank you Mrs. Hogg, but PCJ is a one person band and will will get along just fine without me. Does that mean you'll have more free time? I'm sure it sure doesn't. See you around guys. Time to get working, eh, boss? Running the hotel isn't too difficult. So long as you attract guests and keep them happy. If you see people milling around the lobby, there's a good chance they're here to stay. Book them in a room and you're good to go. When they're ready to check out, they'll wait here in the lobby for a few hours. If you attend them personally, they'll probably tip you. Otherwise, they'll check out on their own too. If you ever need a reminder about who's staying in your hotel, just talk to me. I've got the registry right here. Good luck. Oh, I almost forgot. PCJ, this letter arrived at my, on my desk for you. Another letter. I know you could do it, PCJ. Now remember, you have to build your own hotel score in order to keep people coming. Strive for a 100%. Well, we're gonna need it to complete the game. Mission complete. And hotel score is at six now. Improve your hotel. Let's check the registry. We have a small guest room, so we already have a room. Let's go explore the hotel, right? Oh, I don't need to. I forgot about that. Uh, our hotel rooms are up here. Yeah, whatever. Oh, uh, let's check in, actually. You can stay in the small guest room. Great, I need to stay here for a couple of uh, days. Yeah, because I'm looking to keep out of sight for a while. I think I'm going to stay until Friday. I'm recording this on Wednesday. So he's going to stay for two days. She's angry. Let's calm her down and see what calming down is like. Hands. I hit the wrong one, so that brings down your sanity. Yell back. Music in this game is incredibly loud. So when she goes to fight you, you beg. When her hands are up, calm down. And then obviously the other one's going to be yelled back. So it's straightforward enough. Shoo -shoo. Thanks, Lisa. I'll try to stay calm for you now. You're just the best. Thanks. Take this gourd. I forgot to give you items when you actually do something for them. Uh, so let's. Ah, uh, but I, I, we leave him. Second floor lobby. Uh, this is where all the bedrooms are. So the small guest room is here. We can go into it. It doesn't look the best, but it's basic. It does the job. But through time, we'll earn money. We we buy better things. We can't go into these rooms here because I don't have them unlocked. Uh, but there's the other bedrooms, and there's a penthouse up here, which is open and has stuff. Uh, it has a little thing outside, so that's cool. You're only limited to 14 items in per every room. I think it's 14, I could be wrong, don't take my word for it, but I'm just trying to remember. It's a small number like that, so when you're designing a room, you want to make sure it's right. And this is our little sun deck area out here. Um, I forget how this game starts. We, but who do I talk to to continue on the game? There's Pepper P. Okay, so we have a few guests, but we don't have rooms. Uh, and here's our bedroom, and this isn't helping us with anything. So let's. I don't... I'm not really sure where to start. Hey. The phone. I forgot about the phone. Frankie F Fusilli. We just call him Frankie. Hello, is this Strange Town Hotel? This is Frankie. <laughs> I'm going to be in town conducting a little uh, business. So I'd like to reserve a room. Vacant penthouse, eh? Good. I like them big rooms. Make sure it's nice and clean. I should be there in about, say, two minutes. Don't keep me waiting. Well... We gotta follow off by our phone, okay? So he's gonna be in the hotel. Hey, hey, hey Ragufis. I wanna speak to the manager, Pronto. That's you, huh? I guess we spoke earlier. Boy, this hotel must be in a lot of trouble. But that suits me just fine. See, I'm looking for a luxurious room, only I don't want to pay more than say nothing for it. Oh, you think I should pay, do you? That's a real shame, because without me here to watch over things, this building might start falling apart. Scary, eh? How? Oh, you know, things might just start breaking real mysterious like. Like windows and pipes and legs, understand? Hey. Aha! I thought you would, so for... What do you say I sign on for, I don't know, a couple of weeks? We'll see how it goes. And when I leave, if my stay has been pleasant, I'll make sure you're amply rewarded. Hey, it's me, Frankie Fuzzle. I promise you, kid. So which room is mine? Beautiful, I'll see you around. Ciao, kid.
so this kind of starts the story of the game now. Basically the story of the game is these people start checking into the penthouse and becomes just different tasks and trying to get them out and stuff. But if I try and go up there now, I think the penthouse is locked. No, it's let me up. He wants me to interact with him. What's up? Yeah. Hey, manager, come here. I got a, a position for you. It's my second cousin, Jimmy the Neck. I need him for a little urn, see? But he's 2,000 miles away. So what I need you to do is raise a little money so I can fly him from the old country to Strange Town. Why you? Because I'm bringing more clients to your sad little hotel here. See? You scratch my back, I scratch yours. So that's why I need you. 1,000 simoleons for you measly plane ticket for Jimmy the Neck and you keep your lips sealed about this, Jimmy coming here is a surprise, see? We'll give him the 1,000 simoleons. Hey. You got something I need? Hey, this is freaking beautiful. You know what? Money is just the best. Thanks for the cash, kiddo. Jimmy's going to be real pleased to meet you, I promise. I'll see you around. If I have anything else I need, I won't hesitate to call. Now, so... That's it for now, I think. It takes a few minutes for goals and missions and stuff to come in, but, uh... Let's just leave. And enter. Okay, nothing's happening there. Let's go down to the basement. Actually, let's check out the basement. Uh, oh, our hotel gets dirty over time as well, so that's why we have the vacuum. But you can hire a maid. Here's a freezer room where we can punch this piece of meat to build up our sanity. It's a good way of building up your sanity. Let's cancel it and leave. Like the desert, the freezing cold brings that down. There's loads more rooms in here, but we don't have them unlocked yet. That's not open. These aren't open. Okay. So now it's a case of trying to get money. Let's go over to the, the deputy place. The, the, the deputy. I keep calling it a deputy. The Department of Construction. And we'll check that out. Oh, my phone's ringing. Hey, PC, come up to the moon. I got something to say. It's still ringing. There's a lone loneliness a lot. So, yeah, that, that that's the reason. Oh, yeah. Yeah. He's feeling uh, sad now, upset. And in order to keep your guest happy, you have to interact with them, keep them happy. Oh, wow. Okay, that's a lot of things. Um... We have a guest room, we have one guest room there. Jungle guest room. Jungle guest room. I want to build the jungle guest room next. It's 1,000. The more guests we get, the more money we're going to make through time. So I think the money thing, we're going to need it to build more. Yay. Oh, he's getting upset. Uh, if I check my registry, does it tell me his guest mode is loopy right now? So that need to, I need to sort him out. Oh, it actually tells you the money they're going to give you. So that's good. Building rooms builds up the score of the hotel. Um, I want to calm down Giuseppe first. I'm hoping he's in his room. Because when they're loopy, they have a tendency to... Oh, this one is... I for... Crap, I forget. Also, when they put the hand up, it's stern. You gotta tend to your guests. You gotta keep them happy. Um. Wait, what was this? My sanity can go completely down, and I, I, I go, I can go loopy or something. I kind of forget. I remember that time. Take this gourd, okay? Uh, where is my gourds and stuff? Oh, they're my pockets. Alien ship parts, license plates. Perfect. Um, yeah, but when they go loopy or angry or something, they'll start like stealing furniture from your hotel rooms and stuff, and you need to buy them back, so it's best just to keep them happy. We'll finish up with this guy here. No, actually, the episode length has actually kind of gone on for a while. So I'm going to leave the episode off at there, guys. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. So remember to rate, comment, and subscribe if you have. Uh, I'll fix that little lag error for the next episode. Don't worry about that. And uh, 
yeah, um, this is fun. I'm happy to be LP in this. I better save my game regularly because we don't want to lose. I hope that's saved. The music is a little bit loud in this game, so I want to turn it down just a tad. Uh, oh, does this actually... It doesn't do anything for my computer. I just wanted to see. But uh, I'm going to leave it off at there, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you tomorrow again at 6pm for episode 2. Until then, guys, I'll see you next time. Hello everybody, welcome back to episode 2 of The Sims 2 for Nintendo DS. I didn't actually check if my uh, gamepad was working. And it seems to be a no. Oh wait a minute, because I'm not in the app. I'm not in the... Will it work now? Yeah, it works. Hey. I haven't played it in a few days, so Giuseppe checked out today in a turbo fit and paid only half the bill. Hey. On Tuesday we had a few items stolen from one of the rooms. I later found the items in question abandoned in the desert. Apparently the thieves were a little... Okay, and that's all he has to tell us. So that's, it's not the best of news. It's not the best of news. But we have to go up to Frankie uh, Fusil Fusilini or whatever it is. Oh my god, my hotel's dirty. So you kind of need to keep at this game every day. And I just want to see... Right, we're full on power. Let me just get out my uh, dust buster. And, and clean up this hall. Oh wow, there's loads of dirt there. And there we go. So that's that should be up here cleaned. We should check someone into the that next room as well. I'd like to. I'd like to get someone's gonna check out quicker. You know, like they'll check out. Says one day, like it could save like a day. Oh, I've got. Oh, I got bills. Right, that's, you can check in because you're in a good mood. Small guest room, please. Thank you. Hey. hey. Either I'm in town for a conference or it's a nuclear energy or I'm here in the model clothes for a fashion show. I can never get my schedule straight. Thursday? Oh god. I wanna get more money like and uh So like I can build another bedroom. Oh, what the hell is this? Two dollars. Or simoleons, sorry. A golf ball. This thing is worth money. This thumbtack is worth nothing. <laughs> and a peanut. We don't really need the peanut. Now, uh, I think Frankie wants us to go up to the room. Am I right? There's Tank Grunt. You'd remember him from the actual Sims 2 game, which is great. Mm. I'm right. Okay, he does want me to come up here. Uh, tell me what the Mayor Strange was like. Is he a tough man, just honest? His name is Honest. That's terrible, poor guy. I'd sure like to introduce myself and give him a gift for a purely self reason, I'm sure you, and I just have the thing here. Could you take this to Mr. Jackson for me? Try not to do whatever you have to do, don't shake it. Okay, um, this is a crucial part for the game. Because. Well, I don't want to ruin it, but. Let's just. Well, I want to show you something about relationships and secrets about friends, so we can do that with Honest Jackson now. It's probably the best way to do it. Um. We can use him and then we can go on with the mission. Oh, he's feeling sad. E -R -E -I. Let's cheer him up. I forget how to do this. Well, I know when he puts out his hand, it's talk. It... <laughs> you just remember too. Huggy bugger. That's that's hug. Oh, by the way, sorry for my lighting, guys. Uh, pet talk? Uh, I didn't get my blinds yet, so. I should have them. I should have them soon. Don't worry. Right. Tiramar. Oh, I've never impressed anyone yet. Tiramar. Okay, we'll impress him for like four times and see what happens. I think it could be four times. Tiramar. A high five is high five. What's a laugh? Tiramar. I don't think it's going to show us. Tiramar. Shushu. Okay, that didn't do anything. It didn't come up and say anything. High five again. Tiramar. That's a laugh. Okay. <laughs> 
Tiramar. Uh, dance. Berlinka, dooby dooby. Tiramar. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. We could. Uh, I know what to check. Tiramar. Uh, ha ha. Ha ha. Ha ha. Honest Jackson, you're a good man. Uh, let's go in here and let's just. No. Friends. And where is he? We're still acquaintances. Wow. Wow. Damn it. Tiramar. Uh, Moogie. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna cut this part out. I'm just gonna keep doing it until I get his level up, and we'll see how it works. Shoo shoo. Hey. Ah, there we go. This is a secret. I like to dabble in writing. Did you know that? Sure, I've been working on a 16-volume romantic volume for years. It's a romantic s romance set in e in ancient Egypt. I've got about seven pages written so far. If I remember, I'll let you read some of it. So we're going to our friends list now. And there it is up there. Has, has an idea for a uh, romance novel set in ancient Egypt and has uh, written seven pages. Secret info. So... That was just crucial to get that done. It actually took a lot of time to get that done, but uh, that's something that I'll have to do off screen. But let's give the gift, let's give him this. Hey. From Frankie Fusilli. Uh, well, I don't know what I've done to deserve this honor, but thank give him my thanks. Uh, my phone now also went out. We can read that outside because this is where the game gonna get. Story mode is starting to kick it. Oh, wow, that's a lot of messages. Whoa, she spammed me with messages. Tiramar. I'm paying off the rest of my tab and heading out now. Sorry for the inconvenience. <laughs> Please help me if you've... Jimmy the Neck within the hour. Jimmy, isn't Jimmy the Neck? He'll be... Bu he'll, he... But I don't... Someone stole the... She's been kidnapped twice, but I don't understand. How can she be kidnapped? There's the chair. What the? Oh, wow. But I can't rescue her. She's still staying there. I can't defeat the goons. I thought he was meant to be the furnace room, you know? Is he in the furnace room? That's a yes. I don't know if this is gonna work. That doesn't work. I'll give her back her chair. You're able to deliver a requested item on time. I'll just evict her. <laughs> and just get someone new to stay in. We can do that. I can't defeat the goon yet. Um. Well, I gave him the package, didn't I? I need to go up to... Tank Run, do you want to stay? You can stay in the small guest room. Please leave on Wednesday. He's going to go tomorrow. That's perfect. That's okay. I don't care, uh, Dusty Hog. Let's go in here. And just tell... Honest Jackson wanted to thank me for that gift, that old thing, ha. Huh? What a guy, I may have even bought for him next year. I told him that too. Ah, politics. So that mission's done, and we just leave the room and come back, and we should be all right. Uh, I'm not sure if, like, we're really close to the thousand mark, which is good, which is good. Oh wait, don't the bedrooms get dirty? Look, I'm not making enough money to a gold ring. Yeah, that's nice. Okay. I think the bedrooms get dirty too. 
and you have to clean them too. But to, oh Jesus, I don't want my guests staying in a hot in a room in a dirty room like this. This is how sad. This is. Okay, and um, we clean this ick ick pile up. Uh, we got a bed, fridge, couch, toilet, and shower. So nothing was stolen out of this. Um, where does it tell me where my uh, hotel's dirty? Does he tell me at the front desk? Or is it... Oh, it's on my phone, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, it's on my phone. How much are you going to give me for one day? So it's 4 34 for when he leaves. Um, 340 for the maid. Okay, our hotel's very dirty then. Okay, I'm guessing... I kind of forget how the game works. Does Frankie ring me or do I keep going into his room? It's kind of weird that you have to just... Oh no. Okay, I want to go and buy a scratch card. Um, so I can get over like the thousand simoleon mark because I want to build a. I want to build a new. Uh, I need some. What's that stuff? Oh, it's really rare. Oh gosh, it's on the tip of my tongue. Water. I need water to put out this fire. Help. Extinguish the fire and calm down on us, Jackson. Hey. What? I need. Yeah. We're, we're aware of that. Quite frankly, though, I don't really see any fire. I see no fire. That's the fire. Okay. Damn it! <laughs> I hit the wrong one. It was I was at the beg there. Can the hands here? When he puts the hand out, I yell back. It... Now, beg now this time. And um, so you're guessing if you don't understand, Frankie get the mayor a bomb or some sort or some explosive, anyways, and uh, it obviously just went on fire. Yeah, I don't know all the seven things I need, uh, but I'm pretty sure that cow head Frankie gave me was rigged with some sort of explosive. Yeah, keep an eye out for me, will you? If things get worse, I'm calling for backup. Mission goal completed. Um, now what? I want to go. Let's just go check out our manager suite bedroom. And hey. there's something on my mind, PCJ. Come and see me as soon as possible. Okay, we'll go and do that then, because it's good we get on with the missions. There's another ick pile. Um, I need a boot. Penthouse. Tudelma. What's up? Yay. You know what? This place needs PCJ. No, I guess again. Well, a ski resort would be nice, but no, I was thinking something else. What? Class, you, you know, peas. Peas. Pizzazz, in case you haven't noticed, your hotel is a dump. And because it's a dump, nobody interested wants to stay here, which is sad because I want to meet someone interesting, anybody. Uh, so you're going to have to raise this hotel up to a score of 20%, otherwise, all the best people are going to stay away. Wow, that's. Yeah, hey. This place is the best. Okay, what mood is a head? What mood is Tank Hunting? Neutral. So we got to get our hotel score up to twenty percent, and this is where I said this is. There's a lot of things I'm gonna have to do off screen and skipping the clock on my actual computer and time as well. I forgot about that and the day. That forms some problems in the future, but uh, to speed up the LP, it's the best way because this could go could technically go on for like a month. Um. Okay, let's examine this for a minute. I just want to see something. Okay, I didn't collect a lot. I thought I did. Money spent? I didn't spend that much, did I? Oh, wow, I'm at a loss. Ah, yes, okay. So, calm down, Angry Sims to increase your sanity's meter. So, it's red now. I'm going to start working on Angry Sims off screen. I'm going to, I can purposely make them angry by drenching them with a the super drencher. And. 
can just make them happy again. It's a good way of spamming it, that uh, sanity meter thing. The higher the sanity, the higher we last, like in the desert or in the freezer or different things. Um, why am I going in here? Because I want to buy $10, 10 simoleon ticket. In the hope that I can get some money quicker than expect it. Okay, three. Oh, wow. I can only scratch five, so let's scratch this one. And let's go bottom left. And something about up here. Oh my god, it was perfect. I wonder small ends isn't too bad. Who's ringing me now? There's no toilet in my hotel room. There's some kind of sick joke. Install one as soon as possible, please. Is it missing? Or is it stolen? It's a bit weird. How many of these do I have? 10 and 13, like they're always spawning, like it's a good, uh, selling these could be a good thing. Uh, oh, there's a skill point, a business one. So we collect that skill point. I need to do, like, see this thing, like, I need to do a lot of this, it's a lot of work off screen with this game. So I better get cracking with that. There's the toilet. <laughs> oh, my sanity's really low though, so I hope this isn't too far away. You were able to recover the stolen goods. Oh, I gotta make it back quicker, 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 my sanity level is so low. I got money for getting the toilet back. I got, what, 50 simoleons, was it? So that's kind of good. Um, we'll be able to buy... We'll be able to buy... I can speed this up while I can spend this. If we return this item in this room, I wonder if we will get more simoleons. If not, I know for a fact... We're going to be able to, to afford, oh wait, take off that toggle. Um, we're going to be able to afford, wait, I better put that in this room because he'll go mad. Uh, I'm not going to save that curl, by the way, I probably should. Yeah, calm down. I want to build a second hotel room. That means more money, it means two people staying, it means, you know, it also means my percentage of the hotel is going to go up. Uh, so we place this. Oh, we've never actually placed an item in this game yet. I didn't get anything for that, so that's a bit of a bummer. Uh, let's go to the main lobby. Let's sell a few of my uh, nuclear rods. Look, you can always pick them up. Like They're spawning the whole time. Uh, the more I play offline, um, or not offline, but when I'm not recording on the game, I, I play off screen is what I meant to say. I can collect loads of them. So sell 10. How much will that give me? Oh, wow. No, 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 not yet. An art gallery is something I want. It's a good way of making money. Let's sell these gourds as well. I think I can get sell them at the bar in here. I can. How much do I get for them? That gave us a good bit of money. So this is a good way of getting money too. But as I said, I'm going to need gourds and nuclear rods in future episodes. Um... Okay, he's starting to get tired now. So that's why I want to collect on them. So what we're going to do here, and finish off this episode, is I got 1,700 now. I can either buy a decent room, I can't buy two rooms. So I can buy a bedroom. I can buy... Oh, there's a few. I think the art gallery for now. Yeah. Uh, your build permit has been approved. Trishan should be finished building your new room in eight hours. And that's eight hours of real time. I don't have to skip it because I'm, I'm going to end the episode off of here. And by eight hours happens. Um, 
I'm gonna be in. I'll be. I'll be in work when that happens, anyways. Um. So it'll be done when I come home, which is good, and that put me hotel up. I think it's like three percent every time. I could be wrong. Maybe certain buildings are different. Um. This is the art gallery down here. You, I just want to show you this. You actually see him building on the room, but when you come back at certain intervals, his walls are like start start getting like stronger, and the floor starts going down, and it just looks better. Um, but yeah, it's pretty cool. So Tank Grunt is going to leave at Tuesday. So maybe when I come home tonight. From work, I don't know what one o'clock. It's, it's technically Tuesday in the game. I wondered would that be I'll be able to check him out. Check out the twenty of the eight. What is the day today? Yeah, there's a chance I might. So that's cool. But I'm gonna leave the episode off it there. I'll do another recording tomorrow. Uh, I'll I'll um if I can check him out tonight, I'll be able to build another room. And the art gallery will be built. I'll start making paintings. There's like five spots you can make paintings and sims that come sims come into the room and buy the paintings off you it's a really good way of making money though really good way of making money and i think it's a good start um because if i'm stuck for money off screen i just go into the art gallery and paint a few pictures so it's good anyways guys i'm gonna leave the video off there thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed the video remember to leave a like and if you're not subscribed subscribe already and remember i will see you guys next time Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of The Sims 2 for DS. In okay, I actually brought that to him, but I don't care. Where is he? I want to check him out. There he is. Oh, he's angry. Oh, we got a few angry peeps here. Let's calm him down before he leaves. Because um, I want to get my full payment, because I've spent a lot of money last night. At like 12 hours ago, literally 12 hours ago. Uh, 3 in the morning, I was up playing the game when I came home from work, and I got a lot of work done. I got... You'll see, you'll see. Take these five small ends, and then check them out. And that's it. Now, our current mission is to get the hotel score to 20. Let's check what it is now. It's at 30. Uh, it's at 30 right now. But first, I'll show you the art gallery. Because I'm using that as a source of finance right now. Because, uh, well, you know, I'm broke. Um, but, um, I love the sound of the rain. It's actually raining in the game. And what's funny enough, it's actually raining where I am too. So I've met a few paintings here. Right? It's the French flag, the Irish flag. I don't know what this is. It's meant to be a tropical island thing. Uh... I had a really weird one here, but it sold. And then I tried to make a Sims logo thingy, but this one came out really bad. It was my first one to do, and then I kind of like just got into the rhythm of it. And I kind of like that one. It's actually kind of cool. Um, but people start buying my paintings, and I can start selling them off. I started. I was collecting more um, uh, fuel rods and gourds, and I sold them off. Uh, my manager suite, okay, at the moment I got nothing in my manager suite. I sold all my furniture in the manager suite. Just so I could make the money and get the funds. Oh, I also got one of them license plate last night. And hopefully I should start kind of like looking up locations for them. So I could show you where, the, well not where they are. Well where they are too, but you just find them lying around like. But I found it last night at 2, it was 2 o'clock between. I'm not checking you if you're angry. Now, I built the art gallery and that brought us up to... 14% and then I raised more and then I bought I built another room I built a bedroom and then I built another bedroom so we have the lion well it should be built now shouldn't it yeah perfect so this is built um, a license plate will come in here the jungle room is class I like it this this jungle team room so when I get some more money in the game which we now can because technically we can and I have the modern guest room this one over here is built now too there's a license plate if you found a license plate, you can uh, see your collection in the manager suite. We can sell these license plates to the sheriff and get 50 simoleons for it. Um, but it's just one of them things. It's just one of them things that, like, completing the game is having your hotel at 100%. But, like, having your skills all maxed out, having max relationships with everyone you can, and just collecting these uh, license plates, that's something I want to go for. Now, before we go to Frankie, let's check in... 
Jeez, everyone's angry. Wow. We've three rooms to, to give away. Three rooms, so that's that's more money for us. Uh, before I, I don't want to cam him. I don't want to um, check him in when they're angry. You'll also see that my sanity bar is gone green. That's because I was working on calming down Sims last night too. So my sanity meter has gone up one level, changes colour, and uh, it lasts longer now, which is kind of good. Um, just four levels in max, I think. The last one's like silver. And the next one's blue. I'm not sure or yellow. Right, we'll check. Okay. You looked happy there. I thought you calmed down, but this is good for my sanity objective. Like, uh, the more I build up my sanity level, uh, because we're fortune aspiration, so that would mean the higher we upgrade our sanity the more better of a bonus we'll get for our aspiration goal, which is fortune. So it's pretty good. Giuseppe, you cannot walk through us right now. We're having a conversation. <laughs> right, okay. I'm gonna check you in. You can stay in the modern guest room. Wednesday, that's tomorrow, I think. Uh, Giuseppe, I'll check you into the small guest room. You'll be gone Friday, that's okay. It's okay, you stay a few days. Luther L. Big Book. You'll remember him from the Sims Herbs. Or the Herbs Sims in the City, not the Sims Herbs. I hate these loopy Sims, they really drive me mad. Okay, now we can check in after you calm down. So you can go in the jungle guest room. And that's basically how your hotel works. Now, see, here's the thing. Now that I have three... I just ate a cake, never mind. Okay. Um, let's go up to Frankie now and see what he has to say. Um, oh, no, wait. First, I want to check my register. I want to see how much money I'm going to get out of these three uh, Sims now staying in my hotel. So, we'll call that 500... 700, uh, what's that? 12? That's 2000. That's not bad, but 2000 simoleons roughly around by, um, Friday. Well, not second floor, mate. Right, we've got to go to Frankie now and, uh, start moving on with the missions in the game. Because, uh, he did, he, he did give out to me and say uh, my hotel sucks and he wants someone to stay here. But I gave him an arc and I gave him two more guest rooms. Now, my friend. Yay. Hey, manager, you, you ain't gonna believe this. I just got the newest hotel rating guide. Looks like the strange town turned out to itself 30. Amazing. I knew you could do it. Now all I gotta do is sit back and wait for the supermodels to arrive. And when they get here, you better not be anywhere in sight. Um, okay. Fair enough. Can I just trigger a mission by going upstairs and coming back down? Uh, I just want to check out here if there's any uh, skill points. Oh, I went to main lobby. That was a mistake. Oops. Uh, penthouse. I think this is just trigger. Oh, tanks back. Obviously, trying to look in and get a room. Yeah, that just triggers it. I've got some very valuable character coming in soon, and I need somewhere to store it. Ah, oh, no, I forgot about this. I need to get 1,500 simoleons. My room won't do, it's too insecure. You got anything I say if a vault I can use? Nothing. Do you mean to tell me that we'll have to kick everyone out of the hotel and can I load this cargo? Well, you couldn't, eh? Well, then, kiddo, looks like you're gonna have to build me a vault. That's what I said, a vault. Get on it. That sucks, because we need. We're gonna need money for the vault now. Aren't we? It's either 1000 or 1500. I think it's 1,500. Oh dear, it's very wet outside. Very wet. Uh, and as you can tell, obviously, we're not going to have that money until, like, Friday, like. He'll have it here. Three thousand for the vault. Okay, we got a problem. Okay. Right, okay, do you know what I'm gonna do? 
Um, and this is actually something I wanted to discuss. So let me fill the super drencher up. Where's the sink? Right, what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to stop the recording, right? Um, I'm going to have to change the clock on my computer. Skip it up to Friday. Friday 3 o'clock will do. We're going to get, I'll check out them sims. Go back to the real time. And then we're going to get an alien invasion. So you'll see the alien invasion, but for now, that's what we're going to have to do. So... I'll be back in a second when Strange Town is gonna get overrun by some aliens. And we don't want that, but I, I, I think we actually get money for killing off the aliens too, so we might get the three grand. And then I'm gonna have to come back and then skip the time for when I build the, the vault. Uh, yeah, it's, it's kinda, but see, I don't know, it's kinda like, the joy of this game was, it goes by real time and you're like, oh crap, I have to wait like eight hours for this new room to be built. And this sim isn't checking out until three days or four days. But for the sake of the LP, I really don't want to drag out the LP like that. Um, someone's going to be ringing me over something stupid, so I'm just going to quit the game now. But uh, yeah, that's what I'm going to have to do. Because the LP is going to drag out like for over a month. And uh, I want to keep it going uh, for the sake of it. At the same time, I'm like, oh, it's kind of annoying skipping it. But I kind of have to. It's just the way it is. Anyways, I'll see you back during an alien invasion. You wicked little time traveling cheater. What have you done? The aliens have launched an invasion. This intro video was so cool. You should have seen my initial reaction the first time earlier because I completely forgot about it. But, uh, that's cool. Crap, they're down in the basement with me. So we gotta defeat the aliens, and we know how to do them, we just drenched them. They're really easy to defeat, like. Don't be afraid of the run, boy, yo. We got. Oh, God, you're all in there. That's one alien down. Is there another alien to the right? To the left? Okay. Woo! Damn it! Yeah, don't let the aliens attack you. And my hotel is really dirty. I'm gonna call a maid. If I can afford it. I can't really afford it. Let's, I'm just gonna just clean this up a little bit and just bring the price down. Okay, I completely missed that. Oh god! Yeah, you really get, like, you get punished in the sense that... You get punished in the sense that, like, they just make your hotel really dirty and... Uh, you get alien vision. This also happens when you get an alien vision. You walk, you, you, you know what happens, you know what I mean, like, you know, aliens and, you, you know... Oh, you can walk properly again. Uh, let's just stock this, because their hotel's a little bit messy now, and I'm not liking it. Bring out this drencher again. It should be only two aliens again. Just want to make sure they're not behind the wall. And it just looks like it's easy now. Nice. So, even though you get punished for time traveling, they still give you money for it. I don't think that's a really smart idea, but, um, whatever, like. Um,. This is, my hotel is really dirty. Of course, the more rooms you get, you build in your hotel, the dirtier your hotel's gonna get. But if I can, like, if I can clean, like, some of it. And it brings the price down. I'm not gonna really complain, to be honest. Ah, oh, it's nice and clean down here. Um. Oh, God, it's very dirty in here. You gotta keep your hotel clean, guys. Jesus. Nice. Okay. So, let's check these in again. It doesn't matter where to stay. I don't... It doesn't, I'm not too pushed. 
Okay, I'm not checking you in. I'm not checking anyone in who's angry. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not about that life. <laughs> now let's go talk to talk to Frankie and tell him the efforts we went through to get this vault built for him. Time traveling. Hey, buddy. I took a quick look at the new vault. It's freaking beautiful. And finished just in time. I was able to stash some loot there. A cool 100,000 simoleons. Nobody has ever touch it. Understand? In fact, I don't want people looking at it. If any goes missing, I know. I'll know. I don't even need to count it. I can tell how much money is in the pile just looking at it. Uh, down to the nearest 100 simoleons anyway. Now get out of here. I need some Frankie Fuzzy time. Okay. That's good. So we're getting on with the first section of the game. And we're at 41% of our hotel score already. Which is pretty good. Um, in that other uh, recording that I didn't... Well, it's... I didn't Robotic. record anything. I built a sax lounge, so let's go. Whoa. Did I just forget that the spawn and multiple people? Okay. Okay, yeah. Oh, I'm getting chased by an alien. <laughs> yeah, I just remembered what happens. They spawn in loads of places. Yeah, um, forgot about that. Here's our sax lounge. Uh, Cannonball Coleman Sax Lounge has become the spot for new music since. Zedico Club closed in 04. Eat, drink, dance, and record your own music. This is it. And uh, again, Cannibal Coleman, you'll know him from uh, the Herb Sims in the City, so to carry over some uh, characters. Now you can make music on this. Uh, what can make a ringtone? Let's make a ringtone. How do we make a ringtone? Can you not? Can I not? Can you not? I thought I could. Okay, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. I thought you could record it. You can. And I think that line here is when it fills up. This game is just awesome, right? Seriously. Oh, I like that breakdown, boy. I don't know what this does. This might ruin my sound. What would we call it? Um, we would call it z uh, uh, song. C 
Congratulations, Kirsten has been uploaded to the Hotel Music Panel. Use your panel in any room to play your song. Yeah, I kind of got carried away there, sorry guys. Uh, but I can actually go up to these music panels. You'll see these music panels everywhere. And uh, I can play my song in here if I want it. Now, the current song in here that's playing is Techno. That's going to be a really cool outro song. Wouldn't it? On YouTube? It's class! I might actually use that as my outro song. Kind of shoot myself in the foot there, but um, yeah. That's the sax down then, you're sorry, I got carried away there. Um, we got some aliens to defeat outside as well, so let's get that sword. I don't know why he's angry. He was happy like 10 minutes ago. <laughs> oh, I'm not hearing alien music. Ah, oh, great. Um, God knows what's on his mind this time. I'm kind of like, I'm unsure. I kind of forget what happens with him now. Uh, I need to get my sanity back up, so I'm gonna take a few uh, a few showers. One shower will do the job. Um. Oh, that's another thing. You know when you build up your sanity level, it takes like. You need to use more items to build up your sanity because it's gone up higher. It's increased. I probably should have peed and then... Oh god, you really need to use a toilet. Okay, that will do for my sanity level. Okay, so Frankie, what's up, man? So good to see you. So good of you to come see me, PCJ. I was just reading an article in Shrinking Planet magazine. It says the Strange on Desert has one of the highest concentrated value of metals in the world. That's an opportunity I cannot ignore. Go scour the desert for me. See if you can get three bars of metals. How? I don't know. Use a metal detector or something? Yeesh. Where do I get a metal detector? Oh, I know what a metal detector is. It's in the shop. You buy it in the shop, don't you? Now, I'm happy to get this metal detector thingy. Because it's another good source of income. Because, um, you know, skipping on time isn't really like... It's... It... Oh, now there is aliens out here again. Great. Uh, where is it? There it is, there. But I think he has it behind the counter, didn't he? Yeah, there it is. 800 simoleons. Frankie, you're killing me here. There's all the stuff I have to buy. But, uh, oh god, all the aliens are lined up in one place. Uh, the concept of the aliens being here does not make sense because it is uh, water. They don't like water, but it's raining. That's all I'm saying. Like, I, that's all I'm saying. I, that's. Come on, Easel. Right. That's it for the alien invasion altogether. There's only like, they only spawn in, they could spawn in the desert. They could be here in the desert waiting for me, waiting to, waiting to kill me. The answer is no. Okay. Right, let's take out this metal detector. We have all the items now in the game. Now the metal detector, You are a... Uh, what are you? A rock. Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, let's not uh, dig up rocks. We gotta find three metal bars. That's one, isn't it? Yeah. This... I kind of stuck. That's a lead rock, isn't it? Okay. Um, when you dig up something, it uses up. That's a bar. We need one more bar. That's a rock. Uh, it uses up fuel rods. 
it, you have to fuel your metal detector with fuel rods. Um, so, kind of when you're out searching for things, kind of... Kind of be smart with it. It's a pity you can't run. But you can see the little uh, red tick going down. That's the level of it. Yeah, lead rock, I know. I can... Ah, uh, that's another bar. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I can sell all this stuff too and get money for it. Which is pretty handy. We'll just go back to Frankie now. It's a really, it's a really, really, really good way of getting money. Um, also, we will find spaceship parts down here. Um, I'm not sure if they come in handy or if they're used for a level in the future. But, there you can get a lot of money from spaceship parts. They're kind of rare. Um, it, I don't think it matters what... Does it have to be the three bars of same... You extracted that from the desert? Oh boy, this is amazing. There ain't no reason to leave this town now. I'm going to get this stuff uh, appraised. Uh, but I'll be back, to stick, so stick around, will ya? I'm sure you think of something to do. Go ahead, ciao, PC Jim. Okay. Um, so let's just trigger the mission again. Oh my god, seriously, stop. I'm getting sick of them now. Okay, this is... The, I don't want to time travel anymore. Uh, he's gonna fall in the pool. Yeah, one's in the pool, so that's great. I don't... that kind of... just... yeah... okay. Yes, yeah, so I just skipped that whole uh, fiasco of... Where's he gone? What's wrong with him? What's up? Psst, kiddo, come closer. Closer, kid. This is important. I've got this. It's a chest, see? And I need to... There's this problem. Basically, I need you to bury the chest for me. Out in the desert, preferably. Of course, I ain't gonna tell you what's inside. That would spoil the surprise. Yeah, the surprise. So here's the case. I guess I need to buy a shovel or something. Whatever you do, just hurry, okay? Bury the rig wiggling chest in the desert at night. At night? Ah, oh, crap. Okay. Um. I guess... I guess we could do it at night. Uh, I'm not going to fast forward time. I'm not going through all them alien invasions right now, which I still have to sort out one, by the way. Um, well, let's just buy the shovel. See how much the shovel is. Should be 50 small. 100 small ones. I'm going to go on. You know what I'm going to do? Um, because I'm working tonight, and when I come home from work, I'll be able to clean up a few things in the hotel. So I think it's best interest to build another room. Um, which is something we should just keep going. Maybe another, the other, the other room, the other bedroom, the last bedroom. That would mean we have all the bedrooms, like, so that's good. Uh, when I come home from work, I'll be like, yeah, I got a bedroom. So, uh, I think I'm going to leave the video off with there. And... I will... I will dig that wriggling chest tonight. Oh my god, they're beating up. Where's the other sim go? Where's the other alien gone? Can I fill my water in the pool? Oh my god, that is genius. Okay. Now, that should be the rest of it, the alien invasion, okay? Uh. I couldn't get out there, but I'm out now. So, guys, I'm going to leave the video off of there. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. And I shall see you guys next time when we're probably burying a wriggling chest in the desert. Until then, goodbye. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to a new episode of The Sims 2 DS. In the last episode, we worked on building up our hotel, getting a new score. And uh, we have a quest that we have to do at night. Now, if you can see the time... 
It's 1.46 a.m. and it actually is when I'm recording this. I just, I didn't, I finished work at 11, but I did a really, 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 really long day today. And uh, I kind of had a power nap and some food. And I've turned my mic up and I've also turned the music down of the game for this, the intro of this video anyways. Um, because I don't want to wake up my family because, you know, it's 2 o'clock in the morning and they're probably sleeping. Um, but by the looks of it, the audio of the game, I can turn up a little bit. Yeah, and just see what, and just hope for the best, but, uh, I'm kind of a little bit, yeah, a little bit worried about recording this. Anyways, a few messages pass along. Hey, hey. Luke, checked out today in a terrible fit and paid only half the bill. Yeah, that's not, that's not good news. Hey, hey. On Thursday, mobile phone was lost and found message. Oh, I know what this message is. I had to bring someone a gold toilet or something, and I wasn't bothered working on it. Yeah. I don't care. Um, so we gotta bury this chest. Um, oh, if you're wondering, actually, wait there. I uh, run, boy, run. Let's just build up our sanity a little bit. Um, I was working a little bit off screen, and uh, we should have a new bedroom built. Uh, so we have all the bedrooms, which is good. Which is good for money. So I give it over a few days, we get more money. We can buy more things. More rooms, we need to get the score up. It should, oh it doesn't tell you when you're sleeping. Okay, stand up. Oops, I hit the toggle. Uh, we're at 50%, which is, you know, reasonable. If I take a shower actually and toggle it, uh, toggle means just speed up uh, the game a little bit. Um, Cause we ain't got no time for that. Because we've got to go out to the desert and bury this chest. And it'll start moving us on to the next part of the game. Uh, which is fun. But we have we have a bit of money here. Uh, my hotel is getting really dirty. So we need a bit of a spring cleaning going on action. Um, Pepper Pete. Which is salty. Old Salty's brother. I think. If that's the lower game. We give him the modern guest room. Sounds like a perfect place for him. Until Sunday, I'm recording this. It's technically Thursday morning. So we have a full hotel now. Which is great news. Oh, she's Sunday as well. We should actually. I should just check this real quick. Who's checking out today? It's funny. She's checking out earlier today. Uh, he's not. And we just checked them in. I just bought a paint of yours for 44 simoleons. 44! That's not gonna let me build it. And he's down there, so I don't know how he built, how he did it. Um, build rooms. And let's see what we can build next. Uh, something... Oh, okay. Lion lounge. It'll be 8 hours, and that's okay. Because when I do my next recording, it will be in eight, after 8 hours time, so that's good. Um, while we head out to the desert, let's just look around and see if we see any skill points. Because they're handy. Yeah. Fen 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 yeah, whatever. Hold right there, special agent, whatever. What's in the box, PCJ? It actually is a wiggling chest. Sure, I know your name. I've been tracking you for a few days now. Now tell me what's in the box. Don't know? Perhaps that's best. It means you can't be charged with being an accomplice to whatever crime might be occur have occurred. Sorry, but I'll have to confiscate it and the shovel. We'll use these as evidence. Thanks for understanding we'll be in touch. Let's be in touch now. I, I... Sorry, but I'll have to... Oh. Well... That was disappointing, so... Uh, she's an agent. And they're on to us, so... I think it's time for us to move town. Now, I think... Uh, we go to Frankie. And we tell Frankie that... He's mental already. We go to Frankie and we tell Frankie, Hey, we buried the chest. Yeah, wink, wink. Everything's all perfect. Uh, and it's kind of going to be coming near to the end of his storyline of the game. <sighs> You're either angry or sad. I don't, I don't care. God, well, I probably should care about my guests and customers, but I don't. 
What am I doing? I'm trying to get up to the penthouse. That's what I'm trying to do. Let's just tell him the good news. Dear you are, PCJ. Did you take care of that little thing I gave you? The little package. Excellent. Now, that's, let's just forget we ever talked about it. Let's just forget the whole thing. What box? Exactly. I don't know what you're t we're talking about. Um, near weekend days, there's a skill point in this room and a license plate around the kitchen area. No, a skill points come out in... Uh, no, a license plate does be out in the fire. No skill points. Be f oh, yeah. Are you sleeping? I love the way it's the same noise from the Game Boy Advance games. But you know what's class? The Sims handheld games are amazing. The herbs for Game Boy Advance, like the be in my opinion, the best game for Game Boy Advance. Um, I recently played. This you stop being sad. I recently played um, Busting Out, and I never played it when I was younger. But it was a good game too. Now it was a little bit harder. I'll give it that. Where can I sell this lead rock? Or can I not use it? Or can I not? Oh, okay, never mind. The agent's just outside my hotel, just relaxing. Yeah. Okay, let's talk to her. Just a moment, PCJ. Do you mind if I ask you a few questions? I don't know if you're aware of this, but according to my investigations, I have determined that Frankie is up to something funny. So is Pepper Pete. Oh, they are brothers. Yes. Anyways. I know you've been in close contact with him for some time, so what I'd like to do is wear a wire for- I have to wear a wire? The next time you see Mr. Fuzzleman, talk to him, calm him down while getting information from him. We'll be listening hoping he says something stupid. Just one little slip up and he's ours. So, calm down Frankie Fuzzle while wearing a wire. So I think- are we wearing the wire now? We should be. There's just, just no one happy in this game. Uh, the lead rock. 25 simoleons. Really? Uh, how much for this? 500! Damn. No, at least Jeb is happy. Right, we'll go up to Frankie Fuzzle. Lini. Spaghetti. How much for a maid? We, I'll worry about the maid when we get the money. <laughs> um, oh, he's angry. So let's what's up. Uh, get out of my face. I don't want to see any, any, nobody. Not right now. Calm down. This is good for us because it builds up to our little sanity gold thingy. So that's not, we need to work on that as well. Hmm, I'm not gonna say that because it kind of ruined the. Damn it! I could have had it done now, but I messed up. I apologize for that outburst, PCJ, but things aren't getting a l are getting a little hot around here. Ever since Jimmy disappeared, I don't remember Jimmy disappearing. What? I've had the feeling like. Like somebody is on to me. For what? What do you mean for what? I've been laundering money in Strange Town since the day I got here. He's. Oh my god. I'm not gonna say anything. You know, taking stolen money and making it untraceable. What do you think I was doing here? Vacation thing? Boy, you aren't the brightest bulb in. Freeze, Fuzzly. I. Freeze, Frankie. You aren't going anywhere. It's just easier. Yay. Actually, I prefer my past to fresh, not frozen. Like, God, it's the FBI. Run. Halt or I'll shoot you with something. Maybe a camera. Dang it, I forgot my taser gun. Oh, forget it. I'm tired of running anyway. I need a rest. Go on, cuff me. Take me away. My lawyers will have me out in a few days anyway. In the meantime, I could use a little R and R. I probably got some money for painting there. Oh, and PCJ, here's the cash I owe you from my... That's all he gave me? Was that the money he gave me? Keep up the good work. Yeah. 
I'm confused. My phone's mess. I got a message on my phone. So maybe someone paid for a painting and I'm going to get more money off him. Thanks for your help, PCJ. I couldn't have done it without you, or I suppose I could have, but it wouldn't have been as fun. Whatever that means. Now we got the money off, Frankie, and I'm guessing. You paint full of Phil, do you hear me? I just bought your. He's angry and he bought a painting for 280. Pepper Pete, at the time, was happy, bought a painting for 44 simoleons. This doesn't make sense. Right, okay. Um, That's a nice little bit of money we have there, and. We wait until the morning time. Yeah, I like that about Frankie. Frankie runs this town, understand? Don't cross him or you'll be rubbed out. Oh, I wonder if we go to the prison, he'll be in the prison. But I do know when we go outside or to the lobby, it's going to trigger the next story mode. Hey, hey. I'm instantly at the front of my hotel with an ick pile on the ground and some trash. Dust, or whatever you want to call it. Uh, Ava? 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 Cadavra. Eva Cadavra. That's a good one. Uh, quite a surprise to find such a quaint hotel in the middle of this air dust bowl. How old is it? Hmm, rather recent for my taste. I prefer buildings with a little history, a lot of stories, and a damp, dark mausoleum. But how many of those are there, really? There's a lot going on in the game right now, and I'm kind of starting to crash again. Your, he your hotel will do it for now. I'm Avra Cadavra. And I think I'll be renting your finest suite for quite a while. I've just come into a little bit of money, as you see, and I intend to spend it lavishly. The penthouse, eh? Very good. It's a pleasure doing business with you, PCJ. I'm sure we'll be seeing more of each other. Tata. You hear that music? Um, the dust not where the penthouse is, Avra. Or Ava. It's Ava. Sorry, I messed that up, didn't I? She is walking into the... She's gone. Okay. Um. So this is the next part of the story mode of the game. It's technically kind of like halfway through the game. It is actually a short game. Sorry guys, I just want to just hoover up that dust. I could call a maid or I could build another room. Um. Now that she's in town, I know what we're going to need, right? It's probably in our best interest to start getting like 20 gourds and a uh, few rods, or nuclear rods, or a few rods in the, in the handheld game, same thing. Um, we're going to need them. She's going to ring me literally in a few seconds now and be like, come up to the penthouse and I'm going to have a new goal for you, a new mission. It's actually where one of my favourite characters in the game comes into it. Um, ah, Patati. I shall keep that for my dinner. Um. Oh god, this hotel is so dirty. How am I gonna like? I can't do this on my own anymore. Every room is gonna be so dirty. Even this the new lounge. Oh god. Is he happy or? This room is disgusting. Oh my god. <laughs> this is the second item he's been looking for, and now it's a, it's an actual, like, goal. By Thursday at 3 a.m. So, like, you're given an hour to. I just hoovered there, and it's dirty already. Oh, Pepper Pete. That sounds like Pepper Pete. It is Pepper Pete. Stand up for a minute. Yeah, now he's angry. Yeah, he's he's gone through a rough time. Mood swings and whatnot. Some bonsai tree. Actually, I remember this item. It's actually a nice item. Uh, especially come when, it, when one of your guests wants something for like their room. It will replace something in the shop. Yeah, because there was something else that was 700 small ones. Oh, I can afford that dresser now, but I don't want it. Not yet. I want to like, I have a set goal series of like this LP. I want to do an episode of collecting all the license plates, uh, all the skill points, building up the sanity meter and just different things. What room is he staying in? Is it the, 
Oh, we should check out the bedrooms. I didn't show you that. We should do that. He's in the jungle guest room. It kind of this kind of fits to the jungle guest room, I guess. Um, we've seen the small bedroom. We've been in it a few times. That's the, oh, good God! What is this? Jesus! Do you know what we should have done? We should have checked out. Um. All right, let's check the maid on the book. Right, uh, one thousand fifteen. Let's go into the bedrooms. Right, there's like three dust piles here. Oh god. This is actually Frankie's daughter. I don't know if I mentioned that in a past episode, but yeah. Right, that was three pieces of dust. If I walk out and make the bed. Bit of a pet peeve, I know. Let's go out here. Check the phone book. I find that at 45. 15 per dust pile, and the bed didn't count. Oh, there's skill point and license place in here. It doesn't seem to have, I was gonna say it, but it's in the bathroom, which is just a little bit weird. Cause it's tiled. But what? Oh, wait, no. I didn't see that dirt when I came in first. I'm curious to see if... Yeah, you're still angry. Let's calm him down, because he's a guest. But before I do that, let's just check behind the bar. Okay, never mind. I nearly forgot what that one was. This one went quick enough, but I hate when they slow down for, like, ages, and they're just... He got me. <laughs> now, I have this new item you want in the room. I think it might look nice there. Um, Where are we? Oh, is it... I thought I showed you... Oh, yeah, yeah. So you're guessing the front door is around here. The front door is around here. Okay. Can you rotate the item? Now can I put it there? No. Over here I can put an item. Oh wait. Now it looks better that way. And I put it... There. It's something's not right here. It's not clicking in. Bring... Bring him. I don't have to give that to him a gift, do I? I don't remember that. I thought he just used to drop the items in. That's if the items are stolen. Where is he gone? Ah, crap, he's gone. And um, the cool thing about the phone book as well, all your um, guests come straight away when they're there staying. Where is he gone? There he is. I don't see you in the jungle guest room. I just rang you. I would have heard your phone. Where is he? He's disappeared. But that's the jungle guest room. Let's check out the modern guest room. It's really nice. Uh, it's going to be dirty though, so that kind of sucks. There's Misty Waters, which we know from the herbs, because we've already let's play the herbs. If you don't know that, I've done all the handheld games of The Sims. I got to do The Sims 2 for Game Boy Advance. Which is a bit strange, because I have played it recently, and it's really... Yeah, busting out was weird. The herbs, I think, was just perfect. They hit the nail on the head. Um, but The Sims 2 is really strange. Uh, but this is the modern... I'll wait, this is the modern guest room, isn't it? Or the deluxe. I think this is the deluxe. This... Oops. It's fancier than the penthouse, in my opinion. But I don't like the layout. Like, why would you have a fridge in your bedroom? So when we get like loads of money and stuff like that, I want to like start doing up these places really well. You just followed me outside. This is the modern guest room where I have a salty 
yeah, he's not happy about it because it's not really, I, I should have stuck him in the jungle one. He'd be used to sailing and going off to tropical countries and stuff. Oh God, I swear to God, that dirt, this dirt, dirt, oh, I see it there. There's one more in the bathroom now. I don't know if it's like, works off like the Minecraft engine where it's trying to like render, whoa, man. He's kind of struggling getting into that shower with that peg leg, but he'll get there. Eventually. So this is the... I like this room. It's kind of cool, but it's too open plan in the middle. It's too big. And that's all the bedrooms. Yeah, that was fun. Um, we need to look for your man. Uh, Ad Ada Sheriff or whatever his name is. So let's give him a g call again. He's lying to me now. He he's starting to lie to me. I, I wonder all, all night time did the guests stay there? You know, he's in here. Oh, he's in the... Do I give him a gift? I only got 100 simoleons for that. And I bought it for 700. I'm not impressed about that. Um, but... Let's go up to the penthouse and see what this one has to say. If she, like, it's the only way to trigger missions. It's something about llamas. What's up? Gee, I'm sure glad I caught you, PCJ. I just walked into your room. And the manager just... The owner of the hood, I think I'm the owner and manager, just walked into your room at 8 past 2 in the morning. Is this a bad time? Yes, I want to sleep. <laughs> no, good. I was just curious if this hotel is any small conference type rooms to rent out for large groups. Great. More money, and you'll see why. This, uh, this could be like 3 grand, which we'll get over the next few days, so it's okay. It needs to be a small and dark with no windows at all, actually, and have a reinforced locking door, one that locks from the inside. I know it's an odd request, but I'm hoping to organise a meeting for my cult this ah uh, ha. I mean, company sometime in the next month for a uh, a yoga party. So if you could just clear out a quiet, isolated room like that, it could be cool, or maybe you could just build one. Alarm bells went off my head. I need to get my body, don't I? My body. I need to get my body. You're hungry? Uh, I mean, I'm hungry. It's me. I need to get my body level up, I think, a bit. Or am I thinking of another Sims game? I think I'm thinking of another Sims game, but let's check it out. I know the area where it is, right? So you know when you go down to our basement, as soon as we get into this door here, to the right? Just one thing I'm after noticing there now. Um, there's something about this lobby room that's just great. Because it reminds me so much of the Sims 2 game when I played the first like. I just going through like wallpapers because it's an exact wallpaper you can get in The Sims 2, and I don't know, it just brings back so many good memories for me. And just looking at it, it's just so good. This to the right, we can excavate that. That's what we have to excavate. But I don't. I want to come in here to see if we. No. I think I go to the shop. And there's a pickaxe or something. There's not. Or maybe it comes up in the department of um, construction. Hmm. But his. No, I think it comes up here. Ah, that's it there. Uh, the bovine shrine, which is bovine, is a cow or a bull or something, isn't it? Or 
Yeah, The Sims 2 DS actually plays on something like a cow as well. Like The Sims 2 PSP. Remember the whole, like, cow thing? Yeah. And if you haven't seen that, just watch my Sims 2 uh, PSP Let's Play and you don't understand. So we need 2,500 simoleons. So we need 1,000 simoleons. Uh, oh, some other rooms I think have opened up. No, they haven't. We need to start getting like... Uh, is the mayor gone? This goes by uh, alphabetical order. Oh, there he is. Yeah, th th this thing happened. I don't quite understand it. I remember this happened when I was playing the game. The reason why I got that secret with uh, Honest Jackson is because this happens. He well, let's check the toilets first. Yeah, he's gone. He's disappeared. I find it extremely upset that you won't run a hotel without a helicopter pad. What am I paying for <laughs> you for? Yeah, I mentioned this in like I think it was episode two or something like that when I was trying to build up um, Honest Jackson's remember the whole friend thing. Yeah, I don't know if it's a glitch or a bug or something like that, but he just disappears. Um, but every time I've played the game, a hundred percent of the time it always happens. So. I'm not, like, I'm, I don't understand if it's, like, a part of the game, or if it's just a part of the game where he just disappears. It's a bit strange, but whatever. Um, yeah, so I think it's the bovine shrine that we need to go and build. But I think I'm going to let the episode off at there, because we don't have the funding for it right now. Um, unless... When she checks out in the morning time. Uh, but we're going to have to wait 8 hours for that. Well not 8 hours but the building's going to have to be built in 8 hours. So there's going to be a chopping and chasing with the video. Yeah so I'm just going to have to like do the next episode tomorrow morning I guess. For me anyways recording it if you know what I mean you know. Just, I don't mean it like. It, it just doesn't make sense when I say it that way. But um, yeah I think I think that's it. Kinda... Are they ick points or just... Oh, a charge my detector, but it takes one rod. Hey, that's okay, I'm happy with that. Which I should go out to the desert and look for money, or metal bars. Oh, his money's gone, he actually, that was actually his money, Frankie's money that was there. Huh. Kinda cool. Um. Yeah. Okay. So we're gonna need that two thousand. Oh wait, we're not gonna have enough. Hmm. Okay. So yeah, I was just I was just checking there now. We need two thousand five hundred simoleons. We're gonna have someone check out in the morning time. It's usually after eight or nine. It's only gonna bring us up to two thousand, so we need five hundred simoleons after that. Unless I sell all the items from a room, but then we'd be down money. I'm getting tired. Um Hmm Yeah. That's a bit confusing. I'm just kind of, I'm just looking around for skill points now or even license plates, something that'll come in handy. My best bet is probably go to the desert with my metal detector. I just charged it up, so look for metal bars and try and make at least 1,000 simoleons that way. If I can now, but oh no, it's too late. I'm tired. I'll end the episode off there because I need to keep this fella or me happy. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. I shall see you guys next time for the next episode where we'll actually get cracking on with the next storyline of the game. This one's a little bit more interesting. That's, it's, it's fun too, because as I said, there's a character that'll come into the game now that was like, I just, the way he came into the game when I was young, when I was a kid and I played it, was just cool, and I've never forgot it, so I can't wait for it like, to happen again, except I know what happens, because, you know, I'm, I'm nearly 23 now, the big difference. Anyways guys, thank you so much for watching. Hey. You wicked little time-traveling cheater, what have you done? The aliens have launched an invasion.
Run! I may or may not have skipped on time, but I need to, anyways. I need to. Um. So before we do anything in this episode, let's get rid of these aliens. Well, I can. I, I, let's just. I know there's like multiple alien invasions going on right now, but let's just check in our Sims. Um. So, two of them seems angry. So I can't do. Oh, now she's. Uh. Yeah, he's angry. I'll put you in there. Do mood changes if you... It's like your mood changes if you check them into a room, which is a bit weird. Yeah, I'm kind of, um... It's taking a long while to get over the tank here, but... We'll get some more sims in. I got my hotel score up to 80 now. Um, so I've built... I've built a lot of rooms. I'm not checking you in if you're going crazy like that, but I will, I suppose. Um, and now we've got some bills. I'm walking again, which is great news. Which I can just about afford. But, uh, yeah, I'm really low on money now. Um, since I did my little time traveling thing, the hotel is very dirty. Very dirty. But, uh, I think we're okay for money now. Because we're not going to be spending too much money on building more rooms. We don't have a lot of rooms to build there now. Which is a good thing, kind of, I suppose. Um, and well, I mean, we are going to get rid of the aliens pretty easy. They're out with the cows. My poor cows. Uh, the game always was always like really laggy. I'm not even going to aim on the aliens. Actually, you know what? I'll aim on the easel first. This go okay. This could be outside cleared. And haha, -ha, it won't be a problem with me today, boy. Okay, so that's that's one down. I'm gonna go and I'm gonna um, clear up this alien invasion before we do move on with anything. Jeez, I got loads of money for that. Was it 400 simoleons? That's nice. I don't mean misty waters, but that's nice. So, I clear out this alien invasion and, uh, yeah, we're good to go. I would make the perfect housewife. I do the vacuuming, I pick up the gourds and the fuel rods, I take care of the alien invasions. Like, just, just, uh, just all around, just perfect. Yeah, that's it, easy. Just, just go into the swimming pool. This should be the end of it now. Nice. That's all the alien invasions, and if you can tell by my sanity, I took a few probes. I took a good few probes, and I didn't enjoy it. But it doesn't matter. We can go on with the game now. So let's go down to the main lobby. Um, you get a lot of money. Like, I've, what did I have starting off? 800 simoleons? Was it? Something like that? I think it was. Tell me here when I'm a save file, actually. No, I won't. 1,800... I don't know. But, uh, yeah. You get a lot of money anyways. That's the, that's the main part. I'm probably going to, right, this is this room that uh, she wants us to build. Prime heifer. Okay, I, I'm guessing we just tell her that the room is built. Uh, quickly before we do that, is this, do I have it? Ah, oh, did I pay the money for this? You've discovered this former layer of the eradicator. Everything you need to fight crime is here. So this is the room. This was my favorite room in this game. And even the song, this, the song is just amazing. It's got everything. It's got like a bed and the whole lot. Um, rat chair. But basically, I could have got this room for free. I just remembered. So that's a bit of an oopsie. But, it's like a second little, well, I suppose, yeah, it's a lair. Um, but I can shower, I can sleep, I can't eat here. But there's something very, like, when we get, like, goons, like, Jimmy the Neck, when they start coming around and kind of, like, just terrorizing Sims and stuff like that, 
I gotta put on that rat suit, and that rat suit is gonna be the main thing that's gonna do it. You are the rat to cater, with talents beyond those are mere mortals and patrol the streets and, and rid strange town of goons. Use a rat mask to scare them, hit them with a rat a rang and take them down with karate moves. You'll be rewarded to for every capture. But uh, we don't have to... It opens up this little panel where we can like do things and throw things and hit them and... It's pretty cool, so when it comes into the game I can't wait, but... It's pretty exciting, it's pretty exciting. But this room was, I, when I was a kid, like, it was my favourite thing ever. Um, what else have I built around here? Do I have, no, I don't have everything down in the basement built. No, I don't have these rooms opened. No. And that's okay. Anyways, let's go and tell Ava that, um, this is done. So we can start moving on with the next part of the, the, the storyline with her, I guess. Uh, ooh, ooh. Ooh, I don't know when my guests are check. Okay, calm down. I don't know when they're checking out. Let's just check. She's checking out tomorrow. Two days. Two days. And three days. So that's, yeah, that's alright. Two of them out in two days. Pretty good. One out tomorrow. So, we'll have some nice money going into the weekend. Which is good. Uh, penthouse. So, like, our hotel score is doing, like, it's really reasonable, like, where it is in, um... score but we got to keep pushing it i'm speechless pieces dear this room is fabulous it's everything i wanted and more i'd like to be the first to reserve it if you don't mind indefinitely oh don't you worry about a thing it's not like i'll be moving in here permanently not until i rule over this town anyway i'm kidding ha 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 yeah i'm sure you're kidding i'm sure this is actually going to be a thing that's actually going to happen i might call a maid and just get my hotel cleaned Right, so the hotel is spotless now. Does it, I wonder does that affect the score? No. Eh. Let's go up to the penthouse and this just triggers the missions again. She must be gone to that shrine room now. Which is good, it's not it's not a bad thing. Um I want to go over to the shop and see what's in the shop. I think we've seen, I know what sort of stuff are in it already. And again, I need to start collecting gourds. Because they're going to be very, very important. Yeah, okay, we know what's in here. It's not really... Ooh. <laughs> Melted pennies. Yeah, let's buy this. No, 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 not yet. Oh, fight toilet porcelain sink off-white no why would you be off-white and why was it a really weird price i want to kind of like now that i have money again i can kind of like buy stuff from my manager suite because i don't have anything um the prime heifer of heaven and the earth he is most bovine of all cows grant me the wisdom to understand you to hear the rumble of your <laughs> moo and the clamor of your bell and hold on where's your cowbell did i forget your cowbell not again i'll hello is someone outside hello why hello pcj how convenient to have our nice to have run into you say why wouldn't you wouldn't mind searching around for a cowbell for me would you i'm in sort of a pinch why well i suppose i enjoy the soothing tin tin bullition of a nice cowbell when i meditate that's all so we just gotta go and get a cowbell, uh, which is pretty easy though. All we gotta do is just um, it, it just magically kind of just spawns in now and appears on a cow, but we know where the cows are, so that's not too bad. That's not too bad. Um, is it on the bull or is it on a cow? Where's the bell? Oh, it just says take bell. You can give cows a gift. I can give a gift. I can give a gift. I can't tip you. Why? Yeah, we still have this mystic cowbell. And yeah, I, Honest Jackson is actually gone from the game. Disappeared. Um, I hope the secret stays, though. Does it? Oh, it does. Secrets always stay. It's good. Um, 
probably another episode we're gonna do is like build up all our f what's up thank you so much yeah it's good I guess Can I ask a personal favor of you? Yes, you can, I suppose. I want to look uh, absolutely drop dead. They can't, they, they can't do my stay here, you know, to break hearts and whatnot. Trouble is, I don't know where to buy the best accessories in this town. I'm not busy to search around. So if you happen to know of a way of getting your hands on a tube of rotten eggplant colored lipstick, I would be grateful. Cheers. Lipstick. Rotten eggplant. That doesn't sound the nicest now, in my opinion. But, uh... I'm guessing the shop? Yeah, the shop. It's in the shop. Ten simoleons. Okay. It's kind of like... Weird mission starting off. Um, which is kind of strange. Rotten Eggplant, where did you find this? That's uh, surprising of you, thank you so much, this is my most cherished colour. It matches my boots, my hair, don't you think, and my hair, don't you think? Whatever you're into, I guess. I, I, you know, I guess, like, you know. What's the matter, PCJ? You seem to be unsatisfied with yourself. This seems to be a problem with everyone, everybody in this town. Everyone is so glum, probably because you're all so self-centered. That's not how I operate. I stress sacrifice and self and selfless action. If you're not willing to join the herd, you aren't wanted. Ah, but very soon now, this won't be a problem, you will see. Isn't this great? Everyone is relaxed and enjoying themselves. You're worried about what? Listen, PCJ, don't get involved, okay? This isn't your problem. They're here because they want to be here. Yeah, that's... So buzz off. My phone is going off. Messages. Thank Grunt. So, we gotta go. This this, this is where it's gonna trigger now. We gotta wait for a phone call. And I don't mind waiting around for a phone call. Or how could you be tired? Okay, we need to sleep, but lucky enough there's a bed down here. Uh, one of them is a bed. Oh, now you're hungry as hell. Very good. But we're just waiting. I think we get a phone call or either a letter. I think it's a phone call. Speak of the devil. Jimmy the Neck is back in town and causing, but if a local hero doesn't take care of him soon, he'd be probably steal some of your cash. So, stop Jimmy the Neck and friends by Thursday. Okay, I got an hour to do this. This is kind of great now, because I can actually use the suit and get rid of him. Right, let's go and find where he is. Also, like your normal like sims and guests and stuff like that are afraid of this radicator. Except for someone else. I wonder where Jimmy the Neck is. If you want to save the hotel, you must counter the dark forces gathering here. Seek out the secret entrance to the crypt in the desert when the moon is high. Oh, that's another nighttime one. Ha. Huh. Find a pyramid in the desert after dark. I don't know what classifies dark in this game. After six, after nine. But uh, we gotta go and get Jimmy the Neck. Where is he? Yeah, I think, look, Tristan should not be afraid of Jimmy the Neck. Yeah, he's not. Other Sims are. Because we'll, we'll, we'll learn that secret. Actually, no, they're actually not even terrified of me. That's a bit weird. Where is Jimmy the Neck? <laughs> I can't find him.
Where the hell can he be? He's outside all of a sudden, so that's a bit weird. Right, so okay, so this works with this should start flashing. <laughs> yeah. You ever track down an apprehend a raving a roving band of goons? And we go into here. He should be in Yeah, he's actually in jail now. <laughs> pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. But uh, we can take the suit off now. And we gotta wait for night time, so I'd probably, I'd probably wait for night time. That's probably the best bet there. Hello, everybody! Welcome back to another episode of The Sims 2 for DS. I was gonna say PSP, but that's a completely different game. Oh, okay. Actually, I better like just, I'll eat and and, and do things. Just build up our sandy because we gotta work on a mission right now. We have to find. Something in the desert. Uh, I, it's been a few days since I recorded, so I kind of forget where we are. But something to do with the desert. We have to do something at night time. Uh, it's been like over a week since I last recorded the, the last video. He won't know because I'll be uploading these daily anyways. But it's really loud, isn't it? Let's turn it down a bit. I can turn it down. I can actually turn down the thing with my headset. Um... My needs should be okay. I thought I filled them up. But, uh, find a pyramid in the desert after dark. So that's what we'll work on. Let's go to the desert. So, uh, I've been working on things off screen like over this past week. Like, I was still checking in guests, uh, making money, working on my sanity meter, which I want to check because I did a lot of coming down sims. And um, so it could be. I didn't check it, so I don't know how. Oh wow! I can that. I mean, like I can down a lot of Sims, and it hasn't really got on. That's weird. But uh, let's head out into the desert, anyways. Whoa! There is actually tumbleweeds here. <laughs> I forgot about that. That's pretty cool. Anyways, I hope you guys are doing good. I uh, I'm doing pretty fantastic. Um. Oh yeah, I keep forgetting to look out for like skill points and stuff. Uh, I think I have enough of these gourds and stuff. So. I heard a noise behind me. But there's a pyramid over here. So we're looking for a pyramid, right? Oh, yeah, we are. Examine. Oh. Ohora's Menhoset. Is that nine? Well, that's what's up. Ah, I sense a great evil spending over this land. Ah, evil. Which has not been seen for millennia. I am whatever his name is. I am mummy. My body and spirit have been separated for over 3,000 years. If you help me, I can fight the deadly influence of the cruel prime heifer. To do so, I must return to my corporate form. Find my sarcophagus where sand becomes water in the light of day and return it to me here. We have to go back to daytime. Near the back of the oasis. I don't know if my metal detector's charged. Yee. This could be bad. I'll take it out though. Oh god, it's low. No, it's a metal bar. You're also a metal bar. You're a rock. We're very low on energy. Oh, I'm just gone into the water. Where am I? Oh, my, my sandy's still going down. That's great. 
Yeah, okay, you look like a sarcophagus. Let's just dig it up. Found question mark, question mark, question mark. That's it. That's and and we got a place that we got a place that's somewhere in the hotel. So it's not too bad. Now let's get our needs, our sanity back up. It's really long to get out of the the desert, but uh, hopefully there's a, like no daytime skipping. I hope not because well, that's gonna suck. Um. But I'll build my needs up, okay? My sanity, whatever. It's still technically needs in the game. I'll be right back, okay? Because there's no point watching this boring stuff. Okay, we're ready to rock and roll again. I'm going to place them in here. Uh, in my room. Because uh, I don't really remember, but I don't have any furniture. <laughs> uh, let's just throw them in the corner over here. Why does that... Right, I hope that's centered. It's been so long since I felt earth pushing against my feet. I can't... Oh, okay, he's walking. Ah, at last, I can fight the prime heifer's evil with my own. My own special brand of ancient evil. Ha ha ha. Okay. Pardon me, I must now assess the strength of my adversity. I will contact you when I am ready. R right. Um. Let's see what money we have. What money do we have? Do we have some... My hotel score is at 96, and I have one more room to build, which apparently is only going to be like 4%. So that's interesting. But, uh, oh, it's 2000 for the secret warehouse, so we can get it. So by the time I do the next video, we're going to have a 100% score on our ho the hotel. And every room. And then I think it's probably best we should start adventuring some other rooms and stuff. Uh, maybe in the next episode. Yeah, maybe in the next episode. We'll see. Well. You know, I was going to say maybe in the next episode we'll kind of like do an episode just dedicated to getting skill points. But. That's going to be tricky. How much for the bed? I like the bed. Uh, that bed's nicer. Yeah, I can get rid of that. Oh, I can't afford that. First day in martial, martial arts. <laughs> I need money. I need money. Twi two license plate, I can say. I want to buy that dresser. I really want to start like doing up... Um, bedrooms. My bedrooms in the hotel. I gotta do them up. There's not a lot of money in that. But uh, at least I have a bed now for my bedroom. Actually, where would that look nice? The blue bed. The blue bed. Let's just put it in. Oh, you want? Okay. <laughs> Hello, my newest and only friend. <laughs> I have pondered the problem with the prime heifer and have formulated a solution. Okay. The prime heifer has not yet taken its physical form and can be stopped if we act fast. Seek the sacred branding iron and utter destruction with this weapon. You can halt the prime heifer's entrance into this world. This iron was a sacred relic of mine once, but years ago a strange town local stumbled, stumbled upon my tomb and preferred, preferred, preferred it. What? Find that person and retrieve the iron. I'm guessing it was destroyed. Ask around town about the branding iron. Jebediah Jerky? Like, come on, he's a cowboy, like, he's a little cowboy farmer dude, like, a, but he needs iron for cows. No? You think it's a good idea? Bad idea? Oh god, I don't know what way to put my bed. I like this blue of the bed, though. It's, that's a nice colour of a bed. Yeah, it's a nice bed. I got a nice bed. And my rest of my hotel doesn't. Yeah, let's ring Jebediah. I'm... Certain it's gonna be him, and I'm not saying that in the fact that, or oh, cause I remember, I actually don't remember, but I, I think it is him. Oh, he's right in front of me. 
Yeah, I got me a Brandon iron. Last time I used it, it was when Mayor Jack Sock and Seven to one of the jail cells. No one had the key, so we had to use the iron to pry open the lock. Then give me the iron. Okay. Can I have the iron now, please? Okay, he's walking away from me. Get back here, Jebediah. I don't understand. What? Jebediah has it. So is it? Oh, it's on the sheriff's desk. That's the thing on the sheriff's desk. Yes, that's it. Oh, no, it's not. I was under the... Okay, whatever. Look, I was close enough, wasn't I? Isn't there a license plate in here sometimes? Oh, maybe that's what we can do next episode. Now that we have... Uh... Yeah, I'll still go on with the missions, but I might do like... Just maybe like a five-minute segment of all license plate locations and collect them all. I'll have to skip through time and days, but... No, I won't. It works by every hour. Um, I think I know where this is then. It could be up here. Or did I not already get the license plate from this one? Okay, maybe it's not up here. Whatever. But, uh... And I'll probably do the same with skill points. Like, I want to get max out my skill points. Like, I want to complete the game 100% in the fact that, like, relationships, sanity, uh, skills, and license plates in the rooms all, like, decorated and stuff. Why do you want to say what's up? I have... I have the iron. I have not seen this Brandon iron for many years. It is good to see it in safe hands. Well, it's, I'm guessing it's in your hands. Now, enter the summoning chamber and shatter the prime heifer icon. Prevent his materialization into the world. Okay. So I gotta just smash this yoke. Is that not gonna freak the gawk girl out? Then again, she does have three, like, people that usually stay in my hotel. Although, one of them we haven't probably met yet. What are you doing here? Will you pledge your alliance to the prime heifer? Or have you just come to bother me? Oh, does this be a, a, a license plate in here somewhere? Why is she talking to them? Brand. No, stop! We haven't finished the chant! Everyone sounds mad now. You imbecile, you tyrant! How could you? The return of the Prime Heifer and wise and all-powerful was imminent. This is so much noise from me right now. Guy, yeah, I think I am paying you for my stay here. You were sorely mistaken. It's out of my way. You have done well. I, Mummy, am proud that you are the manager of this esteemed Strange Town Hotel. Our grand place of whim and whimsy. Built atop the ruins of a kind of like what I keep it well. This is annoying me. Oh, Jebediah is here too. What's her problem? She's look like, say, do you smell that? It's like a burning smell. Coming from the penthouse. Oh, it looks like that little lady just redecorated. You're going to need to clean up this pronto. Huh? I wish I could say you were free to skedaddle on your way out of town now, but your car is in worse shape than I had imagined. Seems a doohickey crossed a timmy-majig and blew the whole engine sky high. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Gonna be a while. Sorry, kid. Oh. Salutations, human. Is your multi mode domicile for trans in good cleaning? Oh, I don't know what the hell he's saying. Excellent. I am an expert in the field of domicile cleansing. Let me assess the damage. It seems as though this... Compare was an annoying bit of a vicious display of aggression. I can clean up, but I will require new tools. 
A Galvatronic power recharger should provide me with enough electricity for the job. Oh no. Please, human manager, boost me a power charge so I may embark upon my solemn duty. Um. Where? Golly pieces, yeah. That Ava lady had us all real worried, but we had the last laugh, didn't we? And you know what's funny? She left her wallet behind. A wallet stuffed with 3,500 3, simoleons. Of course, I found the wallet in your hotel, so I guess it's yours, which is fine. I'm always happy to help the local businesses. Yeah. What piece of Jay? Not again. I'll never get this beat oil figured out. He's just prank calling me all day. Okay, so this this is it. This is the last story section of the game. I don't... I was just mad at is that sure. Buy the power recharger for... I don't know what the hell that is. I don't know where the hell it is. And... There's a robot. Where well, is he going to the toilet? Is his head meant to go in the toilet? I've never noticed that when I was younger. I really... Hope that's not a sudden glitch. But... Yeah. I wonder how much this recharge joke is. I guarantee it's going to be like 3,500 simoleons. And I'm out of profit. The mummy just... Oh, it's 1,000. My life force is fading. I must remain in this trance until many gourds are offered to my statue. Own. Ah, that's why I was collecting the gourds. They're for him. She's missing the couch. What black couch? I have to go looking for a black couch now. That's great. That's part. That's fantastic. That's just what I need right now. Let's go find the black. Let's go find the black couch. The mummy will be fi fine. He's just going to be like that for you know several hours until I put a few gourds in. But I'm going to do them in a few minutes. There's the couch. Huh. You were able to recover the stolen goods, but the room for his rent and needs an item. Uh, oh, like, see, this is the thing. Doing up your rooms is one thing, but getting items stolen, it's annoying. <laughs> really annoying. What room is she in? I think she's the modern guest. No, small. Everyone steals from the small guest room. Here, Dusty, check in. Thursday. Very good. Uh, second floor lobby. And... This should be just the placement of the couch. And everything should be fine. The couch... Yeah, that's it. But I don't get any more money for it, do I? No, but I did get money, I suppose. I didn't get a lot of money. So let's go up to the penthouse and talk to Robocop. And give him this charger. Why is Jebediah chilling up here with him? You've chosen an opera moment to, to return what I have. Only recently finished cleaning this gorgeous apartment. See how it sparkles with the glint of freshness. I'd rather think I would stay here until I have fully upgraded the apartment to modern standards. No, no. There can be no further argument. I will continue to make improvements until this room is the most lavish in all the world. You are very welcome. Stop by any time. Right. Uh, something just hit my head there now. When I said about... Uh, just make sure there's no skill points or anything flying around here. Um, when I said that part about collecting skill points and stuff, we need to buy every item, every monthly item. So that's 12 months, I just need to pick a day, buy an item. We're going to need money for that stuff, but... Okay, I was just doing a bit of uh, research there, checking up on like... The game, because I want to I plan these things around it. Of when, you know, how to get the skill points. There's one there, for example. Uh, license plates and different things like that. So, I think the next episode... I'm not going to focus on the story. We're going to take a bit of a break from the story, I guess. And... Uh, kind of just work on other things, you know. Um... Like, I got no skill points, like, we got to get 10, like. and we do the license plate, so it's kind of like just a little just side mission thingy, uh, 
Which I think is be okay. We're actually, I think we're actually making profit now, are we? Just med profit. It's not too bad, it's not too bad. So that's what we're going to have to, what we'll work on, I think. Uh, we're trying to get money in the background too. Because the, the next part of the game just gets a little bit finicky with certain things. Uh, time and, oh, the gourds. Uh, timing and, you know, just trying to keep uh, your man happy. Just take 10 gourds off, man, and don't do that. So, like, we gotta get, like, 20 fuel rods and stuff for the next mission and stuff, so... I'll activate the mission, and then in the next episode, we start doing some side things in the game. Let's actually go and visit two rooms down here that uh, I built and I haven't showed you. This first one is the... Government... What's it called? A strange town lab. Uh, find more fighter in the desert and harvest organs for simoleons, which actually you can. If this is a mission, I don't know. Okay, it's not. Hey, this is something weird in there. Where am I? I don't know. These are people here in some walls. Just get over here pronto. Uh, so it's actually like a mini game. Um, alien autopsy. So I need to get like mummified stuff, and you can work around on it. Uh, but it's a game we'll actually try. Uh, this is my favorite place down here. <laughs> oh, I forgot. I'm just building this now. Well, all right, then I look stupid. So we gotta collect a few few rods and and work on our skills. But uh, whatever, I want to start like completing things and and working on friendships. So yeah, we'll activate this mission, and I think it's the one. I need to do something about fuel rods. Hey you, yeah you, PCJ, I'm bored, give me something to do. <laughs> I don't know, I'll clean something, whatever. Just make a plan and stick to it, huh? Check the wiring in the hotel, is that the best you got? Yeah, yeah, okay. I can do that, but it's a tall order. I'm gonna need 20 fuel rods. I said 20 fuel rods, that's it. I'm not doing it for less. There we go. 20 fuel rods. I have what? One? Yeah, so it's going to take some time. Now, you can actually use the metal detector out in the desert and get some fuel rods. But, I'm going to leave the video off with there, guys. Uh, we'll start working on some other things in, in, in the future. But thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. And I shall see you guys next time. Hello, buddy. Welcome back to another episode of The Sims 2 Let's Play for the DS. Nintendo DS. I kind of botched that a little bit. It's been a while since... I've recorded, it's been like a month or two or something, uh, but you won't notice this because the whole video, I'm recording actually the whole series in one big bulk, editing it in one big bulk, and then I'm uploading it in one big bulk, just makes sense, that's how albums are made, and so why not do that with my LPs, that's the way I'm going to do from now on, except live stream LPs, anyways I hope you've been keeping well, um, I just want to show off a few things, right, this episode's kind of like a, a filler episode we're going to call it, I've been working on loads of things off screen, uh, where we last left off, actually, we had a mission, I should show you first, where we have to collect 20 nuclear fuel rods for the robot. As you can see, I've got 80 and 54, so I've been just kind of like grinding a lot lately. First thing I want to show off is my sanity meter, right? This is the first thing we're probably going to do. My sanity meter is pretty much full. One Calming down one more angry sim, we're going to get the, the max next level, so that's pretty good. Um, my skills is another one, which is actually, actually, this will be the second thing we're going to do, and by, I should be, sorry, this is what we have going here, okay, so this is what my skills look like, as you can see I've been building on a lot of them, and I think today we're actually going to fill out charisma, um, we'll nearly have body filled, and we're going to add another mechanical one, so all the, these ones down here, the three bottom ones, but um, I think, before I record the next episode, I want to max out all my skills. You know, like little things about games, like where you want to, like, just, you know, my hotel scores are at 100% now. So that means, like, you know, pretty much the game is done when I complete all the main storyline missions. Uh, but I want to have all my skills max maxed out and, and different things. Uh, I want to have my sanity meter built up. I also, and in this episode, I want to get all them license plates. And uh, we also have something else that we're going to work on later on, too. Uh, so we are going to be doing a bit of time traveling, um, which isn't an actual like thing in the game. Hey. Oh Jesus! Um, but actually, just like you know, setting my PC clock ahead and the trick I told you about before, like you could do that on the DS. Um, let's—is he angry or is he happy? He looks Tuma. happy. Right. 
There's actually another thing I need to talk to you about that I was worked on the past two days. Let's calm him down. And hopefully this is going to work. You probably noticed, I don't know if I'm going mad thinking about it. Oh, whoa, that was quick. My sanity meter just turned to silver as well. You've reached an excess when your sanity is now more. Right, let's just quickly, quickly just check the panel and see if it's all maxed out there. I really hope it is. If it's not, it's something I can work on off. It's done. It's 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 maxed out. So I get the top price for money now and again. Is this another stupid mission? No. My sims have gone mad. Next thing we're going to work on, guys, is these uh, three skill points. It's Saturday when I'm actually recording this. Um, so there's one in the shrine. It should be in the shrine. I don't see it. There's meant to be a body one. Oh, what's wrong with him? Oh, he's not. Um, there was meant to be one in there. Oh, wait. Hey. There's four skill points we're meant to be picking up, but... Uh, oh, we can only pick up three. I know why. Uh, government laboratory. We've been in this one. I think I showed you this one before. There's no skill points coming in. Uh. Okay. Right, tanning salon in the spa and gym. Oh, he's tired. No, not 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 now. Um. I don't know why that's not working. It should be working. Oh, the gym's over here. It would have been quicker to... I can actually just toggle this to make it quicker. Right. Near the tannin slot. A charisma point. They're not spawned in. Okay, that's... A weird bug. But, uh... Let's just speed up time here. A little bit. And, uh... Fix up my needs. Oh, I don't have a bed in here. Oh, okay. So, right. The next part we're gonna do... Oh... Yeah, the next part we're going to do is the license plates, and I have everything written down here. This is going to be a bit choppy and changey with the next part of the video, because it'll be, it'll be literally like 5, 10 second clips for 24 or 23 of them, I don't know. Uh, we have a few license plates, but I want to show them all together in one run. Um, so yeah, I'm going to save the game off here, and we're going to go license plate hunting. So I'm actually going to set the time to 12am on the Sunday. But it's not really. Okay, it worked that time. Okay, I, the last time it still stayed at the same time. So the first place we need to go to at 12 a.m. It's kind of a guide if anyone's going to go through it as well. So this is kind of fun part about it. Now we need to go to the, the government laboratory. The government lab. Which is just down here. The place we went to try and get that mechanical skill point that wasn't there. Which should have been. There should be a license plate. Was it? Where... Oh dear. Oh, I see it, I see it. It's up here. Yeah. Perfect. So that's the first one. Uh, and then what you gotta, what I'm gonna keep doing here is I'm gonna need to save. And then I'm gonna need to turn the game off and then change my clock on my PC. But that's basically what's gonna be happening here. So, let's keep going. I actually discovered a faster way of doing it, so I'm kind of happy about that. The next place we need to go to is the art gallery. Um, where we'll find a second one. Um, I have been working on something off screen as well, which I'm probably going to show at the end of the video. Uh, the friendships and secrets. I've been working on that. It's not actually completely done yet. This one is in the middle, I remember. Perfect. So, I'll see you for the third one. Oh yeah, by the way, do you like my uh, my painting? Apparently it's like the best painting out there. My hotel is getting really dirty. Um, the next one is in the atrium, which I think... Or auditorium. Auditorium? I'd say atrium on that one. Um, I think we got this one before, but... 
Yeah, we got that one before. There's three we collected already, but this is just going to be in actual order of where it's going to be. The next one's going to be in the basement, so what I'm going to start doing, I want to make the video like more seamlessly easier to watch, so it's going to be lots of quicker chopping and changing, so yeah. And it jump into the game and get on the screen, that's straight away. I think this one's around the stairs. No, wait. No, it's out in the open, isn't it? It's just off a step or something. Oh, I thought it was, anyways. Is that the basement? This is the... Oh, it's this stairs here. Yeah. I remember where the majority of them are. Uh, it's not too bad. Okay, I've just made the whole thing easier. I can actually change the time without exiting the game. It'll actually change the time in the game. That's way handier. So 4 a.m. You have to go to the casino. And it's just over. It's behind a table, isn't it? Or something. You're just stuck in the edge of a table. Yeah. Oh, it's here. Pretty good. Pretty good. Oh, that's actually cool. I've actually forgot about... It's morning, early morning time. I forgot about this. This 5 a.m. one, it says it's in the town square. It's not actually in the town square like that part up there. Because that's the town square, I'd call that. This one is here at the shed to the left. Um... Oh. No, it's to the right. <laughs> I know my lefts and my rights. An instant change in weather there, but that's uh, pretty okay. I think I can uh, check some people out if I want to. Uh, this one's next one's in City Hall. I don't know if we've been near this one. It's the orange. It's a golden one, isn't it? Oh, no. Very good. Okay, the 7 a.m. license plate is in Bovine Sh Shrine. Which, again, at the start of the video... Oh, look at this on the screen. Very cool. Uh, at the start of the video, I was going to get my uh, skill points in here. But uh, I couldn't. So, yeah. I always get mixed up with these ones. The same with Deluxe Guest Room. License plates show up in the actual guest rooms. Oh, by the way, I had this decked out while we're here. I had this decked out all nice in here. Really pretty. Really nice furniture. And Giuseppe, who was staying in here, decided to change the colour of the furniture. Now, not the bedroom, but... My couches were blue couches. Uh, there's also a pot of gold in here. I don't know what I can do with it. I think I can keep it. Um, oh, this license plate is on the fireplace. It is the, this is the golden one I was thinking of. But wait, I see what he did to my bathroom. I've been doing up the bedroom slowly through time because it's something I want to get done. Like, what the hell? Is none of that matches. Why? It's, it's just, I hate when Sims do that. I don't like them when they, when they actually move in. But what can you do? The next one's in the desert. Um... There it is. It's usually where we lost. Do you know them lost items from rooms or places? Go. Oh, called combat mode. Oh. Forgot about that. I didn't... I didn't. Cool. Um, yeah, it's the, the one in the desert goes where all like the missing items go. The next one is very, very close by. It's in the reactor near the, near the pallets. I think so. Well, it was. Oh, it is. The 12 p.m. one is in the span gym. Is it behind this? Yeah. It's funny when you go back and you actually kind of remember most of the places. The next one is the jungle guest room. And it should be... It's near the fire pit. I mean, it's not the fire... Yeah, it's near the fire pit. I can see it. <laughs> This is the one behind the counter I'm thinking about. It's like, literally, if you look... Oh, I know it's behind the counter, but... Uh, the next is in the modern guest room. In the, the counter, the kitchen. It likes being placed behind counter... Oh, we got this one already. Oh, well, no harm in getting it another time. The next one is at the sun deck. If you can hear that, it ain't quite sunny outside. No siree. Um, this one, I'm guessing it's over on this right platform. Yeah. Um, but the next one, we don't have to, you don't have to travel too far for it. Or we don't have to travel for it too far. It's the exact same thing, I mean. Uh, let's avoid Robot Boy. The next one is in the penthouse. It's near the fire here, just to the right of the car. Oh, right, yeah. That one's actually a nice colour for one. It's pretty cool. There is a skill point, so we may as well collect that, pick it up. We have max charisma now, so that's pretty good. Uh, the next one is in the rat cave. I actually forget some of the names of places. 
It's a toy. Oh, isn't this one? Oh yeah. This license plate thing is cool. Like it's actually a really cool concept. I'm 99% sure the next one we co we've collected already. Um, it is in the salon in Jeb's room. Uh, I'm pretty sure this is the one that we collected because there's two out of the three already had that. To keep changing the music in here. Actually, a fun fact: I only discovered this the other day when I was in here making friends and stuff like that, trying to work on the secrets, which I will show you later. Certain Sims have certain songs they want to play. They'll come in and play it. It's pretty. It's pretty really cool. Yeah, we have this one. I remember this one. Yeah, 8 p.m.'s um, license plate is in the sax lounge. Oh no, uh, this one here. What's over here? Oops. That's not what I wanted to do, but whatever. Oh, there's our song. I forgot about that. I might start using that as my outro music. We'll see. Uh, I forget what song this was. Oh, perfect. It's not really a saxophone kind of a song, that song, but okay. Oh, money. Jeez, I'm getting some nice cash here. This next one's perfect. This next, I, I I didn't get to show you this properly. I don't think I I can't actually remember. But this is the secret warehouse. This is the last place I think we built. Uh, it's where the two pallets are. There's a character down there that we haven't met. Well, I have met. I've done it off screen. Yeah, uh, he's not here, is he? Yeah, Bigfoot lives down here. Uh, let me show you my friends list. That's Bigfoot. Um. But he lives down here, and, and basically there's a kind of a cool thing where you got if you feed him every day, he'll keep your Sims, your guests, happy. Uh, I thought it was in that little room. Oh no, it's near this robot yoke. Yeah, this it thing tells you your future. It's a fortune thingy. It doesn't actually tell you your future, but you know what I mean. Monats are so cool, short in the front, long in the back, party hardy dude. Ah yeah, whatever, whatever you're into. The next one, uh, the second last one actually, is in the Asian Emporium. And it is near, it's to the right of the counter. See what I mean, it's really like counters, don't they? And now, we're on to the last one. And our last license plate to find, it's in here in the vault. Uh, it should be in the room at the back. Could be wrong. I thought it was. Ah. Ah, yeah, there it is. There. Congratulations, you found all the license plate. Congrats, you unlocked a new music mixer song called Razorburn. Um, I forgot about unlocking the songs and the music. So let's go over and take a look. At the license plate one that's in the Marangerial suite. It should look nice and nice. Like, it should look nice. Very nice. It actually does look cool. Look at it. Look at it all maxed out. Like, it's just one of them little things you. It's a side thing you want to do yourself. But it just looks great. What a cool addition to bring into the game. Now, the next step I want to do in this filler episode. I call it a filler episode, but it's kind of like a big deal to do. I have all my stuff like written down where to go and what to do. Well, not actually written down. I had the locations, but I remember the majority of the places. Okay, so let's go up to the modern Aww. guest room right now. I want to show you something. Remember every month, every month new items come into the shop. Like just special items. They, they only come every month. That's it. Where I have the jellyfish tank here. That's one of them. That's October's uh, special monthly item. Um, so the things that sit on the podiums, right? Now this thing, this this is a little bit expensive now, what we're about to do here. And uh, I am going to be a little bit smart on... Because we're not only just time travelling by 
we're not doing hours now, we're doing it month by month. So, every month, a new item comes into here. Uh, just obviously 12 months in the year. We've already got October's done, the jellyfish one, so I'm not going to redo that one because I already have it. But I want to get all these items. It's, it's just, it's essential to get all these items. So, I have to save the game off here now. Because... Actually, i got to quit out of the game then, too. And then we have to keep... We'll stay in the shop here. That's not too bad. But we'll just get uh, the item every month. And just go from there. Um, every time I log in, actually, it's going to just give me all this crap. But we got extra money. I forgot I had guest. Who's ringing me? Oh, no. If I don't pay my bills, the items from my hotel is going to get... I can fix that anyways. Um, so here is Arcade Pie Factory, which is November's um, special item. 3,000. Yeah, items are going to keep getting repossessed off me, which is making me a little bit scared. Because I don't want to be putting in these monthly items for them to get taken away from me. Because I've got a lot of stuff. But here's the holiday yeti for uh, December. For uh, a holiday season, so it's basically Bigfoot, but a Yeti. Sasquatches and Yetis are like two completely different things. Kind of. That one's very expensive. Okay, so my computer's clock says 1st January 2020. Happy New Year. <laughs> uh, this should be the busting out, isn't it? But not actually the same as busting out, but I think it's just a little. I don't know. 3000. Whatever. I can skip monthly while I'm actually in the game, so it's not too bad, but I'm just gonna constantly keep saving it. So I can do this. That was February, sorry, it was a satin uh, harp bed. Um I don't know where I'm gonna put that, but it's another bed for a room because we're probably gonna get uh repossessed. And I'm probably gonna be repossessed again. Why not? This is Space Armada. Which is another three thousand. Now, one thing I'm getting worried about is losing the items, but uh, we'll see, we'll see what happens. You'll know when my, I change my clock and my computer here rings straight away. Hey. We're losing lots of items in my hotel here. Ooh, a mud bed. I think you sleep in that, but you get a time at the same time. It's kind of weird. Uh, do I have inventory space? No. Let me see. That's another arcade game. Jeez, I'm really mad about the arcade games. Let's go outside. Change the time, or the date, actually. <laughs> hey. Oh, my computer's not liking this. Yeah, this is a skydiving one. I forgot about this one. It's kind of a weird one, isn't it? But uh, we're actually getting through all the items. Pretty fast now. We're July. Oh, it's raining in July 2020. Hey. The ivory fridge. Yeah. Pool? Did I not just pick that one up? Wait, where are we? July? Oh, I picked up billards the last two times ago. I was going to think it was kind of confusing. Windows could not check for um, uh, updates automatically. Well, I'm kind of in the future here. Like nine months into the future, I think. Huh. It's August time. Hey. Massage bubbler, but I spent so much money on that. <laughs> uh, a dance machine. For August. We know September. Oh, wait, September's our last one to get then, isn't it? Because I have the October one, and we got we started with the November and December one. Well, that's it, I can change my clock back. I don't know how that's going to work, though. Hey. And this is the last item. Another arcade game. So, I should have only five. Because we do. We have the jellyfish tank one. Um, which I want to put all this stuff in one room. But... Uh... Right, here's the deal. I need to actually go back in time now. To the actual day and time it is now. Which is the 26th of October. And it's 25 to 8 in the evening. We're gonna have that alien invasion thing, and then I need I'm gonna call a maid. I'm gonna fill up the. I need I need fuel rods. 
and I'll check in guests again and I'm gonna need to fix up the bedrooms so just bear with me I just cleared an alien invasion and they're literally back I literally just did the, the time travel one do you know where they're like there's four sections of them I literally just cleared it went into the shop bought items that I know were taking out my hotel and they're back why is there only one guy that's a bit weird Oh. Okay then. Tiramar. No, no, darling, I stopped some of the stuff in my room for other uh, same types with different colours. I knew you wouldn't mind. I do mind. I do mind. I do mind. Which room is she staying in? No, wait. No, I know this room needs a shower. Yeah, I didn't quite, uh, I haven't quite worked out all the kinks where all the stuff's gonna go. I'm gonna do that off screen. What's going on here? Robot is not. I don't remember her refrigerator being stolen. I thought I checked that. A green and a blue bed. I actually don't mind the green and the blue bed. It's the bathroom that's gonna annoy me. I had it set green for a reason. I do like that couch, it does sell, it's, you know, suit, but it's kind of irritating. Her fridge is stolen, so uh, I gotta get that back. Okay, we're back on track now. Um, this recording for me has been an hour and ten minutes, and I'm going to make this into a rush. Oh. Okay. okay, I don't care. Um... <laughs> This is the last thing I want to do now with you guys, because the next part I'm going to work over the next period of time and just building up, maxing out my skills um, before I move on to the actual next part. I think we'll see what happens. Certain parts in the game, uh, I might record the next episode next. I'm not quite sure yet. Um, we have all the license plates. We have all the monthly items. Um, what we built up the sanity meter at the start of the video, so that's that's three like self goal thing he done. Um, I mean, doing up the bedrooms is kind of like more than a down personal thing, but I want them looking kind of nice. Um, so basically, the skills we're working on, but there's also another thing: friendships and their secrets. If you go through all the friends here, I have, I have it all. You don't get it for Emperor Easel, by the way. So let's check them out. We're going to read them out. Tristan's is composed of a symphony in his head at age six while climbing Mount Everest. Jebediah is is a real estate tycoon with several homes in other countries. We know Honest Jackson's, but just read it again. He has an idea for a romantic novel set in ancient Egypt and has written seven pages. <laughs> Mama Hogs is has her hot curlers plunged into a mini fusion reactor at home. Very good. I don't know what uh, Tristan's given out to, but whatever. Tank Grunt. Camouflage pattern is actually tattooed on his face. Oh, it's actually a tattoo. Oh, dear. Sancho is dangerously allergic to horses. <laughs> Kent Hackett's. Has regularly watched reruns of Shaz Dastard's Intergalactic Star Safari for 12 years. That's his show that he used to be on. Pepper Pete's hates the tap. Pepper prefers garlic. I remember actually when I get the secret, he's like, uh, I would have been preferred to be called Garlic Gary. <laughs> if ha her boss at the FBI has actually told her, hasn't actually told her why she is in Strange Town. Okay, that is strange. I actually got his uh, secret. I just by just giving him gifts and and stuff. Actually, loads of other machines. He must be a biologist. He has such a popular online gift wrap and service. Misty Waters is has an evil or let's say a devious twin named Murky Waters. <laughs> Luther Big Bucks was actually kicked out of his father's house for being frugal with his money. Wow. Only has four toes on her right foot as a result of a karate accident. Okay, Kelly. Giuseppe was replaced by a robot in the last game. Oh. <laughs> uh, I like the way they reference all games. Dusty Hog believes the fewer wheels on the vehicle, the bigger the man wants a unicycle. Prefers Thai food to Italian. No, oh, Frankie, Frankie, Frankie. Bigfoot, who I was trying to introduce you to, would prefer to go by the name um, Stu, but no one seems to care. Abra is used to be a ballerina. 
Uh, the sheriff uh, has degrees in astrophysics and gravimetrics. Doesn't remember a thing. Um, I was not rich as nor because she got shocked by an electric fence. I remember. We have one more character to meet in the game, so technically the whole friendships and secrets part isn't done yet. But certain friendships and secrets you unlock, you unlock concept there. And I'll show you some of the concept art now. We got one more to work on. I can actually show you the next character that's going to come into the game too. Um, but he's part of the storyline. Uh, you go into settings, you click here for concept art, and that's death. There's a Lord Mole who's with the next character we still let to meet. Uh, Jebediah, Kaylee, Mama Hog, the saloon chick, uh, Bigfoot or Stu, uh, the mummy, <laughs> dead goons that go around, the, the, the teenager thingies, the ghost, Emperor Easel, and the Ratsu. I actually think that's actually all the concept there. I don't actually know if there's more. I don't think there's more. No, pretty sure there's not. But, that's it. I'm going to wrap up this video for now because this video is going to be so long to edit. Uh, but I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, if you did enjoy, remember to leave a like and rate, comment, subscribe, all that stuff if you haven't. Uh, even though I said rate and like twice there now, but yeah, an hour of recording in a row has been a little bit pooped. Thank you guys so much for watching. I shall see you guys next time. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of The Sims 2 for Nintendo DS. I think, I think this could be the last episode because, oh, I'm not actually in game, because I have all the skill points maxed out, so I, personally, myself, am happy. And um, time travel is a great thing. In, so, I'm content with everything. We gotta move on with the game. I got like loads of junk around the place, and uh, I'm eventually gonna do up the hotel the way I like it. But oh god, I need to restock that. Um, let's see, that's a bit uncomfortable. So. We can start moving back on to the main story now. The last episode was like a filler episode. We did the license plates. We did the special monthly items. I showed you the friend's secrets. Uh, we're going to have to do one in this episode. So that's going to be done as well. So I'm pretty happy with that. I am pretty happy with that. So let's give him his 20 fuel rods. Which I should still have, right? Yeah, I do. I've 974. What's up? Oh. You have the fuel rods. Give, give them to me now. Ah, sweet nuclear energy. I must find more. Once I learn to process this volatile fuel, I won't need organic fions like you around. Fions? I mean, that's the nicest possible way, but I really don't think you humans are capable of much. Oh, oh. Fuel rod so rich in energy. Yeah, ha, ha, ha. So powerful. Must calm down to clank. Must calm down or ha, ha, ha. Must. Down cam. Hello, I am Alfred. Model 9 to bling. Warning. Party or Eep. Ha ha ha. Uh, we may have a problem here. Whoa, Nelly, these fuel rods have some insane kinetic energy. Uh, I need to take a nap, man, to wind down, to chill out. Sheesh. If you need me for anything, just forget it. Okay, so. This is where things get a little bit insane. And there's now a satellite dish up here. Um, for cable TV? I don't know. Uh, let's just trigger it back and see if he's going to let us in or talk to us, sir. He will. Great Sprung Sprockets, PCJ. Your hotel hasn't got satellite television. What kind of shabby operation are you running? I'll take care of it myself if you don't mind. It'll be out with a pool. I'll be out with a pool, so don't bother me for a while, okay? Uh, but we went up there and we seen it already, so I'm a little bit confused now. Right, it's there. Do we just wait around now, or? Holy hair, yet rooms. You heard that is infested with creatures. Head out to the pool and see for yourself. Every damn time I try to set up the satellite, this ugly mammal and fur ball chews up the cables. I want to watch television, so get rid of this, this, this thing. Okay, calm down, man. Uh, so I'm guessing this is near the, the, the... It's, it's Lord Mole, isn't it? Convince Lord Mole to stop gnawing on the power lines. Can't talk, chewing. Mm. <laughs> okay. Hey, 
Let's just get in the pool for a minute. Fill it up with water. Oh, he's going my way anyways. Lock onto him. I thought you could lock onto him with this way. But if that's the way you want to play, I'll let this crazy robot get away with his scheme. Just don't come crying to me when things get bad. Buzz off, can't you see I'm trying to save your hotel? Oh, calm him down, calm him down, I better calm him down. I think it should be quicker when you do it. Because I got the full charisma now. Takes three rather than four, that's nice. Thanks, he's just trying to say calm from you're just... I'm trying to save your hotel. That didn't do anything. I still want to get his secret, so... Is that little bugger gone? Excellent. That animal was on the verge of ruining all my devious plans to watch television. I must return to my work. Okay. Let's see where the Lord Mole is. Uh, he's up here, okay? So this is the secret. This is the best way of making friends in the game. Uh-oh. It has begun. The time of the robots is nigh. Hey. Help, help, and Saint Domestic Cleaning Robots have invaded the city. Help. Oh, where is the Raticator when we need a hero? Where are. Oh. Okay. Defeat three robots as the Raticator. So. I better go and change into the Raticator uh, outfit and just start defeating more enemies. Because I had enough of that last episode with the aliens and the invasions, and I had that earlier as well. Um. I love this music. I love the way they freak out. It's so cool. Um, I love it. I better be recording because I'd be very disappointed if I wasn't. Oh, there's a robot straight away off the bat. I wonder if I get money for this. Oh dear, there are robots everywhere. The music isn't too bad for them though. It's not too bad. I didn't say it was the best. This is relatively easy. Relatively easy. That was Trace, so I don't know what's quite... Are they everywhere? No, but someone is. Jimmy the Neck is somewhere. Oh yeah, Jimmy the Neck is somewhere. Oh god. Damn it. Okay, that's one. I didn't know he's got three goons this time. Uh oh. I'm gonna redo that because that was a very bad attempt, in my opinion. Uh, we can do better. <laughs> Uh, we've only got two to defeat this time, but they're really... Uh-oh. So they're going to leave this Jimmy the Neck next time, but uh, while we're here, it's kind of like killing two birds with one stone. Robots. Goons. You know. Oh, he's over here. Very good. Very good. I made a mistake again. It's not going to plan. <laughs> I hope he's not the other side. Please be. Oh, he's the other side. He already sees me when I come coming. Hey, what the hell? It won't let me throw the yolk. Right, he's in the middle this time. Surely to God, I can't ruin this. Okay, I got it. 
Okay, now let's change out of the Raticator clothing and then come back to the main lobby to my dirty hotel, which I might get cleaned. I can't because I don't have my phone on me. Oops. It's in my pants in a rat cave. Who's oh, ringing me now? Oh, don't tell me I've got to do something stupid now. Okay, mix up some new. Okay. Um, I want to call my maid. I don't like them ich files around the place. There's Bigfoot I was telling you about. That's Bigfoot. Oh, I smell. I just, I literally... The rat occurred to get in. She, or he, saved the day. Right. Hey, hey, what's the deal? You've been messing with my robot sidekicks. And what's this I hear about a human rat? Come on. You are... Excuse me, sorry. You arrogant fleshbags, don't you understand the superi superiority of silicone based life? By taking over your planet and subjugating you while we're doing you a favour, bah, suit yourself. I've still got my antenna, and where there's an antenna, there's a robot. Now stay away from me or suffer the consequences. Human manager, hold. It is a speaking you and I must obtain. Emperor Easel, okay, okay, we're kind of fools. For time that has been long, we and you peoples have at war been. Oh yeah, I forgot his English is broken. But change must it to be satisfying. A fresh man is, is bad on the horizon. A robot evil thing. His clever antenna and surely craft robots are the annoyance. His antenna have been to prevent my communication with Homeland by the Lord Zickelberg. I will crush all robot things. Can you go thing to helping me? We... Can you find antenna blueprint somewhere and to me bring it? Yes, thank you, goodbye. Earn f mechanical five, break into the penthouse and steal the blueprints. We can do that, we can do that. But that's not my prior concern right now. My prior concern is uh, making uh, best friends with Lord Mole. So this is the best way to do it. I just go over here, or any place for that matter, and I buy food. Oh, he oh my God, what a stroke of luck. What a stroke of luck. And this is all you do, you just give them gifts, and the gifts are the food. Um, usually 15, but I do give them the full 18 just to ensure it, and then whatever mood they're in. Oh. I don't care if you're upset. Um, that's the 6. I do give them the full 18, it's just better. I mean, like, yeah, when you have the money, it's fine. So this is going to bring it up to 12. This is how quick I was making friends, like, it's really handy. He's going to go and change the music to a sound of his liking. Okay, whatever. It's funny because I already had a picture of Lord Mole in my... You know the first bedroom, the small uh, guest room? I've already had that picture there. And we got the picture obviously before we went. This is going to be some stupid task now. Earn the blueprints, find the porcelain sink. The room Frankie Fussell is renting. So that's basically what that is. So we're going to do that next. This is the last secret we need to earn. So, I kind of... Eat them burgers. I'm giving you. Now, I just impress them and... Uh, dance! I knew it was dance. He's that nearly went halfway down. Laugh. Hopefully he gives us a secret. He should though. Why was I so adamant about building a self-propelled digging machine? Well, I'm sort of uh, afraid of the dark. We have all the secrets. That's all the secrets. We can't get Emperor Easels. But there you go. He's afraid of the dark. We have everybody's secret. We can complete the game in peace, although my hotel is messy. Also, we're missing a porcelain sink from the hotel because people steal things for some strange reason in my hotel and leave them out in the desert I mean it's a fun game and all but it's not that necessary oh where's the sink god damn it 
It's not even in the desert. Uh-huh. Uh... I mean, I know I can just go to different places as well. Um, I remember we seen one, and it wasn't in the middle of here. And it really threw me off. I can't think of another place where it's going to be. Uh, let me just read his message. If, you find out, if I find out who took my person and sink in my room, I'm going to douse them with honey and bury them up to their neck in the desert. We could play it safe. Oh, I need to sleep. Okay, you know what? Just give me a second. Piss for your information, it seems Alfred has been sneaking out of his room every night between 6 p.m. and 10 p.m. to recharge his batteries. Just thought you should know. It is not even 9 p.m. now, so. Yeah, I can't. I can't uh... interact with him. But. That. Is a very good information to know. I completely forgot about that. Uh, I don't know what room. I forget what room. Frankie. Oh, he's obviously in this room. Okay, Tristan actually gives you information about where the blueprints can be, but we know they're in the room. It actually tells you in the mission log. So, we got to hack into his room. This is the last mission. This is the last... This is the last episode. Oh, wow. He did, really? The blueprints are just on the ground? Okay. I bring them to Easel. And other than that, I'm not sure what we do. I think we just smash... Up the. In your hands, they have what the thing is what I want. Blueprints, all right. Yes, this is one of the perfect days. I, w I with my crack team intelligence will la look to these blueprints and plan crushing rubber even sooner about this. Okay. Did you sneak in here and take my blueprints? You did, didn't you? What makes you think you can mess with me, huh? Remember, I'm an inferior robot, and you are a hairless ape. But he's shaped like an ape. Therefore, I am smarter, stronger, and cleaner than you. So leave me alone. Right. Um. Is it still the matter of finding a sink? I don't think I'm gonna find that. Oh, perfect. Hold, human manager. Good times to have to see you again. I have an ultimate plan to do. The robot antenna is being very clever and strong. There is not a way to hack it or turn it off. Therefore, the plan is best that we smash it. Yes, yeah, smash antenna. But not me or other alien comrades, other because we small things. But you, you may take this elixir liquid, and when you have the antenna, drink this and smash it away. Drink and smash, yes. Drink Ease's potion near the satellite dish and then destroy it. Growth potion. Drink this for a new perspective on things. Okay. Interesting. Interesting or not? Oh, you want a shower, really? You really want to end the game in this way, like we're getting all sweaty and messy? Huh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, we're back in action again. So, we go here. Uh, I just think here is... I don't think you need to be in a certain area, but we drink it. Oh, good God. pretty cool now what it's still there like I don't want it on my hotel roof and uh, let's go down to the main lobby and see I will just talk to easel and see what he says I'm sure he'll know the deed done definitely will you the ears of mine hearing the smash <laughs> yes human has success again we aliens have cable of contact and home planet and no need for vision of another robots now our men's to smash Alfred. You are in the good mood to smash things, yes? Understand it. Smash Alfred. Do now thing before the lateness of the day is there. I seriously it's so hard to read. Defeat Alfred. Okay, so we gotta like I don't know how we're gonna defeat him. I'm just gonna soak him up my water gun. I honestly don't remember how to defeat him, but I do think it is the water gun and he Where is he? 
He is not here. I... I have a... I have a feeling he's in the desert. Hang on, I'll ring him. He's in the hotel lobby. My llama llama. Uh, that, okay. I'm. I'm a bit worried about this. Maybe he's on the sun deck. Cause that's where like most of the dramas happen now, isn't it? Oh, he is on the sun. Oh, look, it's like we're in the wrong cages. It's like the elimination chamber. We're waiting for like the time countdown, the light to shine onto us, and then we run into the ring like this. It is elimination chamber. Oh, he's he's ready to come out. Racketer. Okay, so the first time went very bad. What I did, um, yeah, I kind of did die to him. But let's just pretend that was a warm-up round, and we will get him, and we will kill him. But we're not actually going to kill him. It's a Sims game. It's not really kill. Him. Well, actually, there's loads of killing in the Sims games. What am I talking about? You need to take the ladder out of your swimming pool, locking a sim in a room, putting loads of counters in it, getting light the fire, the whole room goes on fire. That was my favourite way of killing sims. Um, very cruel way. I mean, the sims I know was drowned like, but because really getting trapped in a room, forcing them to light the fire, and then you're just forcing them to kill themselves. Euthanasia. Okay. Oh, he's in a very awkward place to fight me. I need him to come down. Okay. Mm. Wait a minute. This is like a three round fight. Oh. Awesome. Oh my god. I'm taking sanity damage from this, but it's not that bad. Okay. Let him chase, let Iron Man chase after me, I don't mind. Wow. I don't think... It's really bad for Iron Man to lose to uh, to a rat. Okay. I am Rat Man. Oh, you want round two? Okay, you want it in the pool. Um, everyone's comfortable with their own ideas. Okay, we gotta defeat him one more time, man. Here's a big. Dur, 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 dur. <laughs> okay. Um. Uh oh, I'm getting chased by two. Of them. Actually, getting chased by two of them. You think I think. Oh crap, let's get him. It's working, it's working, we're getting there. This silver one keeps going into the swimming pool. Is he back in the swimming pool? He's over in the corner now. Why is he like the swimming pool so much? Last round, I think. 
It's actually cool. It's like a, it's like a proper boss fight. Oh, damn it. That was close. I really messed it. Yeah, the car is still down there. that a module that you damage it I can't think I can think clearly again I I oh what have I done forgive me PCJ I was such a gentle robot once but I transgressed the laws of robotics I turned on my dear friends I sure messed is a uh, 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 blip can I have my money now please uh, okay Yes, well, that is about how you are done it. <laughs> you are done with the day is saved. Now, Alfred Evil is not on this earth. Now, real evil can be done by me, for I am proper evil guy. Bah ha ha And will it be my hand to give you to the heart of your chest after I take out it to squash it when you uh, are not, um. Evil will crush humans. I vow this. <laughs> Mission complete, uh, pretty much game complete, to be honest. Let's go swap into our normal clothes. Oh. oh I remember this, yeah, it's really glitchy here to get down the stairs. Because you can't turn them, I'm not even... Please tell me this doesn't happen. Oh, hey boss, another letter has just arrived for you. I knew you were the one, PCJ. You have rather the toughest customers in all of Strange Town, and even have 100% score. This town is yours. Wow, wow, we wow. I have hotel. It's a the radicator just restock the brochures. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, the credits play after you defeat that cutscene when you see uh, Alfred going into the water. I'm gonna play them after this. Just because I want to go back to the original set, y you'll see what I mean. I just, I, I, I'd be changing the cameras again, so it's just going to make things easier for me. But, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to have to leave it off at there. Um, I let you know just, just to have say, like just, just to feel warm inside. I am going to do up the the guest rooms and all my rooms, and I'm going to put all the stuff in them, and I'm going to put my managerial suite. I'm going to do it up the way I'm going to like them. It's a little pet project, but uh, just know that it's going to be done. So don't be worrying thinking that it's not going to be done. It's done. We have the game done to 100%. We can't we can't do any more. We literally can't do any more. We have all the skills. We have all the secrets. There we go. We have our hotel score at 100%. Um, we have all the license plates. And we have all the monthly items. What more can you want? I'm just going to do up the rooms myself and leave it at that. Anyways, guys, I'm going to leave it off there. I highly, highly, highly enjoyed uh, this LP. Uh, I'm not really sure what I'm going to do with my next recorded LP. I do have an idea. Um, I'm thinking about it, but it's something I've done before, so I'm, I'm, I'm just not quite sure on it. But seriously, guys, I really hope you enjoyed this LP. Um, I I had fun with it. It was great. It was actually, the, I think it's the most fun I've had recording an LP since the Sims 2 PSP LP. Uh, and that's a feeling I've missed. But uh, that's it. Yeah. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. And I definitely will see you next time.